and look at that. Stir Friday Night is back without any technical difficulties. We're live. <laughs> they can hear you, I think. I, uh, guys, we're back. Hey, I'm Zudok. I'll be your GM this season. This is Stir Friday Night. We're playing Monster of the Week. How have you all been? Um, my goodness, it's good to see you all. Look at that chat just going. Man, we're so happy to be here. So, uh, let's get into it. I'm, uh, the GM. I'm with these wonderful individuals around me of Stir Friday Night. Let's go around, just do a quick introduction, say who you are, uh, something you love to do in your free time, and what is the first thing you're gonna do once you get that vaccine? Um, let's kick it off with Erica. Okay, my name is Erica Geyser. I'm playing the character Dolly. Um, these days, what I really like to do is go on hikes. I've been going at least once a week. Mm -hmm. uh, it's really fun. Uh, and then the first thing I'm going to do... <sighs> this is fucked up, but I think I'm going to like continue to enjoy a little bit of solitude because before things really open open. Because yes. like... I feel like this is, I'm going to look back on this and miss it a little bit. No, for sure. I've, I'll be honest, I've really enjoyed becoming a hermit in some capacity. Um, it's not, it, it, like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I think it's because I spent a lot of my time online and I get to see all your wonderful faces already. Um, but maybe that's just me. Uh, but anyway, up next, we got Astro. Tell us about yourself, where, uh just what you're going to do as soon as you get that vaccine and something you love to do in your free time. Okay. Hi, I'm Astra. Um, I've, I'm playing Yasmeen. Um, okay. Wait, sorry. What were the two questions? What am I going to do when I get my vaccine and what's something I love to do? Yeah. What's something you like to do in your free time and what are you going to do once you get that uh, vaccine? Oof. Okay. My, my free time, I really like to watch TV, honestly. <laughs> Uh, big big time TV watcher. Mm -hmm. I know, wild. But when I get that vaccine, honestly, the first thing I really want to do is go dancing. I want to like, oh, it's been so long. That's really when I, I can't wait. Mm -hmm. That's me. It's a much yeah. better answer. <laughs> well, I don't know. Teach I, felt, I feel like yours is more responsible. Mine is like. <laughs> Moving right along, Ben, tell us about yourself, what you love to do in your free time, and what are you going to do when you get that vax? Oh, hello, everybody. My name is Ben, he, him, his. Uh, what I like to do um, is, yeah, play video games, watch movies, read comic books. So, uh, staying inside this pandemic has been awful, but... Is it that bad? <laughs> I don't know. I've, had a, I've, uh, I've been enjoying myself a little bit. Um, but uh, the first thing I'm going to do when I get that sweet vaccine, the big prick in the arm, uh, is do karaoke. I've been like playing my karaoke playlists because I was a karaoke host, for those who don't know, uh, before the pandemic. Um, in fact, one of the last things I did pre-pandemic was getting a huge fight with my boss. Where I was like, karaoke is the least safe thing you can do in a respiratory <laughs> disease pandemic. We're not doing, we're like cutting it off. Um, but uh, yeah, so I, I have all my karaoke playlists on Spotify for like when I'm at Yoke and I don't know what I want to sing. Mm -hmm. um, and I've been, I've just been adding songs, guys. I'm, I know what I'm singing when I come back and uh, to find out. You'll have to be there. <laughs> you guys, no, you're going to have to live stream it. We'll have to do mm -hmm. a live stream of your karaoke just to figure out what it is. Yeah, for sure. Uh, moving right along, Joan, tell us about yourself. Tell us about what you love to do in your free time. And what are you going to do when you get that vax? Hey, everyone. I'm Joan. I'm playing Simone Stream. She, her, hers. What I like to do, um, I love to procrastinate. I have a list of things to do that I'm never going to do. And I always like put it in my bullet journal. I learned how to bullet journal during quarantine. And there's so many lapses in all my pages for all you journalers out there. Um, Wait, Joan, is yes. bullet journaling different than regular journaling? Yeah, it is. It's for productivity. Like big time different? Oh. Mm -hmm. So you map out your month long plans, your year long plans, your weekly plans. It's all about like getting, getting shit done. done. Except, Except I'm not, not getting, getting anything, anything done because, because there's, there's no, no reason to get anything done. done. Um, <laughs> after, after I get vaccinated, I can't, I can't wait, wait to go window shopping. 
I miss it so much to the point where, where like, I'm just watching people like, like organize, organize their makeup, makeup collection or clothes, just like looking at like products. I think I just like miss it. I wasn't like a heavy shopper, but I really miss window shopping. So I will go to TJ Maxx. I will go to the mall. Like, I just want to browse without like any fear. Hell yeah. I, you know what I can't wait to get? An Auntie Anne's pretzel. My goodness, have I missed a good pretzel. And I feel like I can't get that unless I'm at the mall. I don't know where else I can pick one of those up. What malls is are it? dead. Malls are, you think, I'm, I, malls I don't know. They're going to have a research. Sorry, was that, was that no, not no, malls rhetorical? Are 100% dead, yeah. <laughs> yeah, malls, are, mall, malls are dead. I'm, you were, I'm sorry, I thought you were just saying you wanted you. a pretzel, but sorry, you, you, you wanted us to tell you where to get no, 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 I was going to say, what are you, I was I, 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 trying to do a transition of like, I don't know, does anyone else love things about malls? And, and, I think you can get Auntie Anne's at airports also. Okay, well, yeah, I haven't been to one of those yeah. in yeah. a recent bit either, Erica. But You can <laughs> you can make pretzels, dude. Okay, well, I uh, look, thanks, thanks, guys. I, I, I love this when I tell you about something I love and you all just shit on it. That's very fun. No, 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 Auntie Anne's is great, but... Your idea is but. just yeah. I mean, Auntie Anne's is great, but you're not. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. And you know what? Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving to someone like the who. The fact that you need it specifically at a mall, I think, is interesting. Well, but... it's like, where else would you? For me, it's like part of the ritual of like going shopping and like sort of doing that and picking up. And then a you need to reward yourself. Well, That's it's true. not even a, not even a reward. It's a fun thing to do while you're there. It's like part of the. Yeah. You know what? That's guys... like. No, no, no. That is like like easy that's like shopping on like level one okay shopping on level 10 is you bring your own snacks you hydrate okay all right exactly all right where you need to go i didn't know why this was the yeah, end that's too intense why are there levels yeah. to shopping yeah, right. man. yeah. Shoot, why? sometimes you gotta get things done right all right at level okay. 10 at level 10 yeah well oh, harrison you kind of operate on level 10 all the time right that's, oh, that's yeah, kind of your vibe uh, uh, level 100 yeah no <laughs> hi everybody hey, it's harrison yeah hi everybody i'm harrison happen uh he him is um something that i i enjoy doing uh i love playing video games uh apex legends specifically uh um and uh going on walks really walks it's uh uh when it's nice out um and going to the park uh, during quarantine uh something that i'm excited for once i get the uh the shot is uh same thing as us i'm going dancing Ooh. that's i really just i really just miss vibing out grooving just um Do getting you want to dancing together uh well we could put a pin in that maybe harrison I mean, that's one music thing. <laughs> harrison. <laughs> Oh, wow. Uh, wow. Harris, I have a question. I've been out yes. on many a night on the town with your ass, and we've never once gone dancing, or you ever mentioned anything about this. Oh, Erica, could you back me up uh, on this one? We've been dancing. Maybe you should just work on your dancing then. Wait, Whoa. what the hell? I have to work on my dance. I wasn't even invited. How am I going to work on my dancing? <laughs> well, so maybe, maybe, maybe you work on dancing, and then you get invited. Oh, yeah. no. Maybe then you, you, know, invite then you and I are going out dancing after this, once we get our No, no it's all right. No, what about me? Like, I oh, guess yeah. you could show then, come to. You're all no, dancing. No, 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 no. I'll go dancing with you. Yeah, us or you can come to karaoke. There it is. Okay, cool. We do dancing at karaoke. How about that? No, no, like, don't, don't. No, that's a really bad idea. Yes. I will say, anytime anyone gets on the mic and is like gonna do a little routine dancing, I'm like, oh god, like, I'm gonna <laughs> this early. This is a hazard. Like, this Someone's person's gonna be so drunk, they're gonna fall, yeah. they're gonna get sued. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Let's move right along in the list of someone who's probably been sued at work. It's shoot. Uh, <laughs> Uh, not yet, but you know, you never know, I guess. Uh -huh. Um, hi everyone, my name is Shu, um, and I play Beryl the Professional. Uh, I pronounce it she, hers. What do I like to do? Um, I got really into, like, sewing and, like, historical costuming, so, like, I made the shirt by hand. I was gonna like, say. I sewed it. Uh, I was very excited by it. It's the pirate shirt, um, that's been, like, floating around YouTube, costume, or whatever you want to call it. Um, Nobody knows just, that reference. Yeah. <laughs> Some people on the internet might, mm -hmm. okay, or might not, but it is for costuming. You know what? You you, you can Google this. You you have Urban Dictionary, okay? Uh, <laughs> but it's been a great way to just like pass the time, um, do something with my hands for my anxiety, and just like watch a lot of TV. A lot of it just historical drama. I'm such historical trash. Ugh. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do as soon as we are out of the the core cornini or whatever, um, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to Hot Pot. 
and I'm gonna go with my friends, <sighs> and I am gonna get so drunk and just eat with my friends and mm -hmm. eat like the spicy hot pot that makes your mouth go numb. Like I've just been dreaming of the day when I get to like sit around my friends and we just get to like drink crappy beer and eat delicious hot pot and mm. and you know be yelled at by Chinese servers. <laughs> like it's just I want the full 360 experience. That's a really good one. Too. That is a great one. I because you, you know what it was as soon as you mentioned hot pot, I was like, oh, that'd be great. But right now I'm too concerned about other people breathing on my food. And the mo and the moment the vaccine is like, oh, we can just do that again. Like, because I think there's a little bit of like decoding what is fearful about just like everyday existence that is also going to oh, happen. Yeah. Yeah. Ab absolutely. Like I was watching something where like people were in an arcade and I'm like, you can't, you can't touch that. Someone else has touched that. You right. can't just put your hands. And I'm like, oh my God, that's exactly what I used to do. And I never thought about it. And now the first three months when I'm outside, I'm. I'm just going to take, you know, like some CBD with me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was uh, hard at the beginning of quarantine to like unlearn, like sucking on doorknobs. But I think that <laughs> I'll, you know, it's strange. Yeah, I didn't really, I, I, I I struggle with that, <laughs> but I'd love to hear about how, how that was hard for you. Uh, we I'm chatted about the one who might get sued at work. <laughs> <laughs> I said it because it was so impractical. That's what makes it fun. Um, Can I say though, I'm surprised that, you know, how everybody's like on Etsy is making their masks. Mm -hmm. Like every fashion brand is coming out with masks and things like that. Mm -hmm. I can't believe gloves didn't take off. You like, know, I thought nice, about that. Nice, like, long opera gloves. Yeah, I think the big thing was, is, like, gloves weren't as efficient as just, like, sanitizing your hands after touching stuff. Like, because then you're just, like, taking it with you. But that would have been Yeah, cool. because if you touch your hand with the, your face with a glove, you're still putting the germs okay. on your face. Well, now face. I understand why it didn't take off. Thank you. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> No, it's well, it's never, no, I feel it's like a hypocrite in this moment, but I think it's I think it's a great idea. You can still do it. Gloves will still be useful over the cold. People will still need gloves. Uh, yeah, people will always need gloves. But speaking of folks who definitely need gloves, it'll be our characters in Chicago because that's where our story takes place. Hey y'all, we're playing Monster of the Week, um, and as, before we get fully into it um i just want to explain a little bit about who we are as a group and who we're doing this for so we're working with evil hat productions a great uh company that produced this game and they're working in partner with us uh to promote it and we're really super grateful for that also world 20 thank you for sponsoring the show we are stir friday night we are uh chicago's longest running and oldest all asian improv troupe i would say the his the u.s is oldest because no one has uh proven to me that that's not true. Um, tell me what, another one that's been around for like almost 30 years and I'll, I'll definitely, I'll take it. But in the meantime, Sir Friday Night's got that title and man, do we love it. Um, some of our notable alumni include uh, AP Bio's Mary Sohn, you got Community's Danny Pudi, and now the Oscar nominated Steven Yoon. Um, you know, it, it, it feels really great to be a part of a great um, historic institution and um, I don't know, I'm really excited to bring Stir Friday Night to you all as we play Monster of the Week. Because we're sitting in Chicago, baby. We're taking it to our own city, our homeland, as we get into a story where our six members of our party are a team of interns and one supervisor as they work a part of an agency called The Agency, whose purpose is to keep that which um, shouldn't be seen unseen and um as we go around i want you all uh just to introduce yourself as your character talk about um what you did this weekend um leading up to the monday and as in character if you could be in the wwe what would your wrestling identity be you thought the hypothetical questions were gone? Nope, I switched it on you. They're in character this season, baby. Ah, uh, oh, and it feels good. good, man. All right, so we're going to go reverse order this time. Unless someone's chomping at the bit. Um, but I'd love to just kick it to a shoot. Uh, hello, my name is Daryl, and I am the... 
I wouldn't say supervisor, well, not anymore, of the internship program at the agency. The agency is the longest running, timeless agency in monster fighting uh, throughout history. So uh, we're very excited to have this new offering of interns, and we can't wait for everyone to get started. Uh, what did I do on the weekend? I am confused by this concept of the weekend. Again, time doesn't really exist for me. I also don't understand. Free time is something that came into existence much later than when I was growing up in the 1890s, you know? So I'm, uh, I, I, I did my paperwork and I filed everything correctly. And what can I say? Very excited. Let's see, WWE, you know, Wrestling is like every other pastime. I don't see the use for it. I don't understand it. And quite frankly, I'm not about to start. That's all. All right. <laughs> Thank you. That's barrel for everyone. Let's move right along. Uh, over to uh, the coach, Gliz Marshall. Hi, everybody. Uh, it's Coach G over here, Glizzy Marshall. Uh, yeah, so... Uh, what did I do this weekend? Uh, well, I sat back, uh, hung out, watched uh, some March Madness. Uh, go Ramblers! Uh, Loyola Chicago beating uh, Illinois. Uh, very, uh, very happy about that. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, I am a wrestling coach, so uh, WWE is uh, something. Uh, you know, usually it's um, it's most wrestlers don't like that. Most real wrestling, you know, what real wrestling is, just. Uh, but it's it's all fake. But you know what? I do I do like Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is my favorite WWE wrestler. Hell yeah, Samoa Joe. Tell me about Samoa Joe. I don't know anything about him. Uh, well, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is six two. He is a wrestler born in Orange County, California. Uh, and I like to think that uh, you know, if I was six two, I'd look a lot like him. You wait, I'm sorry, I, I lost track of something. You said if you were six two, oh, you would on, look exactly it? like this person. Everybody, pay attention, pay attention. That, that's All the right, only... everybody, eyes up here, eyes up here. Sorry, I mean, it just feels like nobody nobody was uh, doing anything. Excuse me, everybody. Yeah. Um, what, what was your question? We thank you. <laughs> Let's move right along. Joan, tell us about Simone. Hey guys, um, I just went on YouTube all weekend. I tried vlogging and I failed. I got like two views, so I think I might start over again. And I did catch some WWE on cable because my parents, you know, go to work all day and I'm just home alone watching TV. And I saw that um, over the weekend they had one of those pay-per-views on. Mm. And I found a, a link on Reddit and I saw that. Because um, you wouldn't like pay a, full price. I didn't want to pay because yeah. I don't have any money. But I saw that there are a lot of women wrestlers nowadays. And one of them got their teeth kicked out. And it was an accident, but it was like pretty frightening. Hell but yeah. um, I think I would want to be like, uh, I don't know, like a goth wrestler i mm. saw another wrestler who was like putting a spell on this dude and Ooh. a bunch of like black like vomit came out so that's what's happening on wwe nowadays so <laughs> <laughs> they're amping up their production it's you know it's honestly it's basically game of thrones but live it's incredible um moving right along let's hear about uh your cousin jeff hey gang uh jeff Choi here um had a pretty cool weekend, uh, pretty tight. I um, been really stoked about joining the agency, um, kind of not where I thought my career path would take me. So I've been trying to do as much like research as I can to sort of bone up. So um, I watched Dracula, I watched Son of Dracula, I watched Dracula meets Wolfman, I watched Dracula meets Frankenstein, I watched Abbott and Costello meet Dracula and the Wolfman. Mm -hmm. um, do you do, vamp Dracula do, you do Vampire in Brooklyn? <laughs> Uh, no, but it's on Ooh, my reading list. Okay, okay. Uh, so just expand sort of, your... Sort of just like a yeah. curriculum that mm -hmm. I've been, like, building here. Um, <laughs> occurred to me halfway through the rewatch that uh, I am not sure how much any of this is true, and I'm too 
um, scared to ask Farrell. So uh, ultimately, it was just a fun, exciting time uh, where I just watched a bunch of good movies and I had some uh, some pretty good craft beers. A little hoppy. Starting to realize most of them are are just, are just hoppy. <laughs> Um, if I could be in the WWE, uh, I would like to be a legacy character, to be honest, because um, I'm a huge WWE fan, Rey Mysterio for life, 619, that's my guy. Um, so if maybe there was some way in which um, like Rey Mysterio had like a son or a long lost son who, who had been kidnapped, but then came back and wanted to take the mantle of the mask, that's sort of uh, what I would do. Um, not really anything original. Uh, you know, I, I, there's a lot of good source material to lean on, but I mean, why mess with the classic, right? And let's move right along and I'll talk about the next character, Asra. Tell us about Yasmin. Hi, I'm Yasmin. Um, this weekend, I didn't do a lot. Just kind of uh, played my uh, drum set a little bit. Um, so if anyone's looking for a drummer for their band. I'm still looking for a band to play in. And if I were to be in, well, I don't know that much about WWE, but I like the concept. Mm -hmm. So I feel like my persona would be someone who grabs chairs from the audience and hits people in oh. the head with them. I feel like that's a thing. Mm -hmm. That they do. Just the designated chair hitter. I think so. Mm -hmm. I like the brutality of it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh, up next, uh, uh, moving right along, our last member of the party rounding it out, but certainly a lot least. Erica, tell us about Dolly. Yeah, I'm Dolly. I spent the weekend, like I spend most weekends, uh, down at the precinct talking to the cold case unit about um, my family's murder that they are not continuing to investigate mm -hmm. to my liking. And then I went back home, I got on Reddit, nothing new, just a bunch of teens speculating about how my family died. So just did a lot of that. If I was in the WWE, I probably would, I'd probably bring my sod off in there with me and end it real quick so that we can move on to things that actually matter and not fake fight with each other. You know what I love hearing about your story and everyone's story? No one hung out with anyone else this weekend. Everyone was a loser and hung out. No, I'm kidding. But like, no I texted one... JC, okay? I texted JC. He didn't want to watch basketball. He wanted to watch Dracula movies. Nobody hit up their, nobody hit up their friends. It was all just like solitary weekend doing your things. I love it. Yeah, dude. I, uh, I got those texts, yes. but uh, sorry, man. I had to watch the uh, Dracula Untold, the origins of the dark universe. Oh. <laughs> Tell me. Uh, I can't get mad at you. Yeah, uh, that's my boy. <laughs> <Mark. you> nerd. <laughs> okay. So, as you guys fall asleep going to bed on uh, Sunday evening, we pan out away from your homes over the city of Chicago. It's dark, it's quiet, it's not the city that doesn't sleep because there's a certain time at four where it does. And the blissful bit of silence occurs. Running down the street, along the way, we see a single gentleman with his hoodie up, cutting a pace, moving it, trying to make his way down on time. He's got a marathon coming up. As he hoofs it around the corner of Dickens and Larrabee, heading west, he cuts through the park, going around the first statue, making his way towards the baseball field. He begins to feel a little unease. He looks over his shoulder, 
It's nothing. It's he should be in bed, but he decided to go out for a run. It's nothing. And as he rounds the corner, that's the last we see of Mark McFarlane. As a trail of blood begins to descend into the sewer grate. We wake up next morning. And uh, where, what's everyone doing? Well, it is... What do, what do you get up to? It's Monday morning. Your week is starting. Um, who wants to go first? What's going on? I can go. Um, <laughs> Jeff's Monday morning starts like most Monday mornings. Um, he has checked in with his job in the loop in chicago the loop is the downtown area of chicago um at a company called lupon that does uh something about kind of some kind of coupon he doesn't know he just does the it stuff there and he just makes sure people have the email access it's great but uh ever since he started working with the agency he's been on an extended medical leave uh which he's lying about but that the agency helped him forge so he's just checking in and saying yeah recovery's going a little slower than usual so mm -hmm. Uh, he doesn't know how long he can keep that lie up, but... So, are you... You're at home emailing in... Um, Correct. Right. And having grape nuts. Having and grape nuts for breakfast. Grape uh, nuts for breakfast. As you're um, sitting there, you get an email come in to you um, from your boss. What's her name? Uh, my agency boss or my... No, 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 no. Your Lupin boss's name. Yeah, my Lupin boss's name is Tanya. Tanya. So you, you get an a email from Tanya that reads, Hey, um, Jeff, I know you're on extended leave, and I wouldn't ask this, but uh, we're kind of short a man, um, and we need you to come back in if anywhere. Or can you work from home? Can we just... Um, Jeff starts... I start res uh, responding with a carefully typed out email. Mm -hmm. Um and I tell Tanya, hey, Tanya, thanks so much for thinking of me. But unfortunately, the recovery from my spleen injury is not going so well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm actually uh, coughing up and uh, pooping blood. And I don't, I don't want to tell you that uh, because it's, um, it's really unfortunate that blood is coming out of both my ass and my mouth. But um, unfortunately, because there's blood coming out of my ass and my mouth, yeah. I... Um, <laughs> I can't make it into the office on account of all the blood that's coming out of my ass and my mouth. So um, for that reason, I'm going to have to respond to this email in the negative and, um, and say, unfortunately, I can't help anyone get email access today. Signed, Jeff Choi, IT specialist, uh, Lupin. Um, he, and then after he writes that, he slams down his phone on the table and goes, yes! That's <laughs> undetectable. It's crazy. You don't get an email back. It's weird how that happened. Um, as you get out, what, uh, so you wake up, it's like, what, now? Uh, the email probably came in around like 8, 8.30. Um, what, are you, what are you doing uh, this morning as you're getting yourself situated? Um, after he joined the agency, mm -hmm. uh, Jeff bought you know those like if you're if you do like wing chun kung fu mm -hmm. they have those like wooden like training dummies with like the sticks on them and yeah. you like try yeah so he bought one of those because he thought it would become <laughs> useful for being in the agency and so he's like what standing there in his workout clothes and in, in his track suit waiting for uh the call to come in mm -hmm. for an agency mission um and he's trying to to do Wing Chun on the dummy, but he doesn't know what he's doing and keeps like hurting his hands. And so we just watch Jeff practice it out, practice out as he, uh, <laughs> yeah, tries to get used to the the moves of the. Would you call it? I'm so sorry. Uh, it's just a training dummy. It's just a training dummy. I I was gonna try to reference a specific type of kung fu again. But on this training oh, Wing dummy, Chun, yeah. Wing Chun. Oh yeah, as he's trying to do it, probably from a uh, movie that he watched uh, and failing miserably. We're gonna pull out and take a look at um, someone else this morning. Um, let's go to Simone. Simone, what are you doing this morning on Monday? It's about like school. Probably starts at Old Briar High School, 
at around um, yeah, what, what time do kids go to school? Do you eight thirty? You gotta you gotta be in class. Does that sound about right? Yep, eight thirty. Mm-hmm. Um, I actually woke up on time today, and I got all my stuff. I got all my homework done. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to taking today's like AP Bio exam because I actually study this weekend. So. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm actually looking forward to going to school today. Yeah. And as you uh, are getting ready, uh, you hear a knock on your door um, and the handle moves in. You see your dad pop in. It's Mr. Stream. Mark. And he, sorry, not Mark. We just had Mark. Uh, it's Arthur. Arthur Stream. And you see Arthur look at you, his little push room mustache sticking underneath his uh, uh, nose and he's got his glasses on. Uh, and he says, oh, Simone, uh you good? Do you need a ride to school today? No. No? I, I could just walk today. Okay. Oh, you going for a walk? I mean, I could give you a lift on the way in. Do you need money for lunch? You you, you got enough allowance this week? Um, Actually, I would like some lunch money. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much do you need? Uh, I don't know, like 10 bucks. Food's okay. expensive nowadays. Yeah, 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 totally. Um. I got this for you right here. Here is a voucher. You can uh, get ten dollars for raking the yard. So once you rake the leaves outside, you can get that ten bucks, and you can get that for lunch. Uh, your dad feels so slick as he hands you this da- a voucher to you, um, and chuckles to himself. <laughs> oh, by the way, your mom's got breakfast ready. Come on, uh, we'll meet you downstairs. Okay, Dad. I'm, you know I'm 18 now. You could give me physical money, but thanks. Oh, but then you wouldn't know the value of a dollar, Simone! And he walks down the steps as a phrase you've heard your entire life. Um, as we move along, let's get a cut over to Dolly. What are you doing this morning? Um, I just get out of bed and I start making eggs for me and my grandma. Mm-hmm. I like hum music, but I'm not going to do it here because I'm shy. Mm -hmm. So I'm just humming and cooking my eggs. I'm making scrambled because that's the easiest. And And it doesn't matter if it's messed up. It's fine no matter what. And as you're making your scrambled eggs, you hear the walker of uh your grandmother sort of walk in your what do you call her do you call her grandmother do you call her Mima? do you call her today i say what's up g money <laughs> hello dearie it's good to see you. are you making eggs again oh how delightful she yeah. eases herself into her chair do you, do you happen to have any coffee on the pot sweetie yeah i made coffee oh thank uh, here you. let me let, let me get you a cup Awesome. And, oh, you made coffee. And there's one cup, but there's another cup in the cabinet and two mouths for coffee. Get, get yourself a cup, Dolly. Have co- have coffee with me. No, Grandma, I'm sorry. I, I used your best grandma in the world cup. That's already my cup. Oh, that that's... I was drinking out of it. I know I'm not the best grandma. I know that's you. That's, that's but I just fine. grabbed it because it was the closest one to the cabinet opening dolly dolly sweetie it's okay it's okay go up to any mug i don't need the best grandma mug because you know what i have the best granddaughter right here yes i do oh you're so great dolly thank you you made me mash. you made me mashed potatoes last night you got scrambled eggs today you and made someday i'm gonna make you something that's not just a mash of stuff on a plate oh grandma. sweetie you know my dentures are getting sore on the gums it's perfect i can just pop them out and get right in it and uh okay. she begins to gum up these uh uh eggs that you have uh heartedly as she's going through it as you're um working and uh sort of spending the morning with your grandmother, um, G-Money, you look um, over on your um, police scanner that you've got connected up. Um, you got a laptop sort of also accessed into the police network. Um, maybe Jeff helped you gain access, who knows, but you've been tracking a little bit of their internal chatter and you pick up um, some conversation about a murder that happened the night before well this is interesting Mm -hmm. you see uh, grandma mm -hmm. 
Yes, dearie. There's a murder last night. Oh, my goodness. Are you... Was it, was it nearby your work, sweetheart? Uh, no. It was, it was like in a park. Okay, well, you should stay in no, just to be safe for the next couple of days till they catch whoever did this. Grandma, I told you, you don't have to worry about me. I'm a grown woman now. Okay, sweetie, but I will worry because you'll always be my little G-baby. And she pinches your cheek. Uh, and at that moment, we pull away and we move over to Gliz. What are you doing this morning? Uh, well, this morning, uh, I woke up at uh, 5 a.m., mm -hmm. uh, went for a 5K run. Uh, doing my stretches, uh, reading over some uh, some ancient Mesopotamia uh, since uh, I'm teaching today. We're learning about Sargon of Akkad now. Uh, so, what Sargon of Akkad? For those of you who don't know, he's considered the first emperor of uh, the Akkadian Empire in Mesopotamia, which is now in modern day Iraq. Hey, am I am I boring you guys? Are you practicing it into a mirror? Is, is... Yeah, that's <laughs> that. Um, Besides, uh, besides some stretches, I'm also doing some push, uh, some yeah. light push-ups, uh, some little, little bit of skip rope, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I sit down at my uh, at my uh, table, and I eat a nice hearty bowl of oatmeal and a nice tall glass of warm milk. Mmm, delicious! The best breakfast you could have asked for. And as you're uh, chomping away, you catch on the uh, screen. You look up. And uh, it's the news. It's playing. It's the sort of ABC7 local uh, news reporting. That's a, that's a real Chicago station. Uh, and there you come in as you're looking at it. And uh, Ravi, who's on uh, the screen, uh, is telling you about a little bit of some information from the evening before. The authorities are still say the suspect is at large for this Second in a spree of Oz Park murders. Uh, they're looking into it, but right now they're eager to hear from anyone in the local area uh, if they could provide any insight. And once again, reminding folks to lock your doors at night and stay in, at least until this situation is handled. I uh, squeeze my spoon and it bends. And we pull away from that moment to <laughs> Yasmin Chaudhry. It's uh, Monday morning. What are you doing to get ready? I'm probably, I'm in bed mm -hmm. because I don't want to go to school, so I'm probably not going to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're laying in bed. You're I'm sitting there. in bed. Yeah. Don't want to go to school. No. What do you I see you go. as you uh, see? lay there? I see this ceiling fan mm -hmm. moving really slowly mm -hmm. and I'm like trying not to think <laughs> too hard <laughs> about anything. Um, maybe I'll turn on the TV so I can distract myself. Mm -hmm. So you flip on the TV and you're flipping through some of the channels as you're going through. You get up, you get out of bed as you're stretching, sort of walking around your place to get yourself some breakfast. Um, and as you get settled, uh, we look and see a beautiful apartment, gorgeous, um, spotless in tip top shape. Um, go to the sink as you take out the same bowl and same spoon that you've used for the cereal for breakfast that you've had. Um, wash them, get it out, um, and you live in an incredibly beautiful apartment that no practical 18-year-old would own. And yeah. as you're getting situated on the marble countertop next to the farmhouse sink, um, pouring yourself a glass of Oatly oat milk, once again, not sponsored, but great product, um, you uh, are digging in, um, 
flip it on the TV, get to the weather that's coming across, and you hear a knock on your door. Oh, I mean, oh, shoot. Oh, no. I have to hide. Um, I'm going to uh, throw, I don't know, throw my bowl in the sink and hide under the bed. No, you know what? I have power, so can I, uh, <laughs> can I see <laughs> who's at the door? Yeah, you can totally see you at the door. You get up, you get in touch with the arcane, and you get yourself ready to look through a peephole as you see who's oh. on the other side okay. of... <laughs> All right. <laughs> as, you, as, okay. you, as you look through the people, the other side, um, it's a neighbor? Someone who lives nearby, I guess? Or it's not the people who own this space. It's somebody else. Okay. But um, you hear the knock at the door um, grow louder. Uh, and this uh, short uh, blonde woman with a bowl cut in her 50s um, sitting around probably like five two five one, um, looks at the people up and goes, "Yes, my dear, it is I, Greta. I live next door, and I wanted to say you need to go to school. I know you're in there, and this is the second week you haven't been to class. I hear you play the rock music all day." I listen to you as you hang out in the space. You need to go to school. If you don't, I will call authorities or your parents. Okay, Greta. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and you. And for once in your life, maybe eat an orange because I doubt you're having anything worthwhile. Greta, mind your business. I leave Please. back by door. You don't take. I know you're in there alone, oh. Yaz. Come on. Okay. All right. I'll eat an orange and I'll go to school. Okay. But then then you can skip again. I'm not saying go every day, but you you haven't been there for a while. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Greta. Good. I leave oatmeal behind door if you need. Okay. Thank you. These kids these days don't think they need school. The truancy, not a problem. She uh, makes her way down uh, the way back as you listen to her mut mutter yourself. Um, on the hall. Okay. Um, old people don't have anything better to do, I guess. I guess I'll open the door and take the food she left and bring it inside. You open the door, you take the food inside, and we pull out to our last member of the party. Beryl, what are you doing this Monday morning? Yeah, I do every day. I stare at my blank ceiling while I lay on the ground because I own no furniture. Hmm. As you're doing your ritual of not sleep and just staring at the ceiling um, in passive wait for time to occur to the point where you can begin, um, you yeah. hear a knock on your door. Yes? Aha! Beryl, so good to see you. And in through the door walks Hezekiah, your supervisor. Um, how's the intern project going? I don't move from where I'm just laying down, literally in the middle of my my studio with mm -hmm. no furniture around me. It goes. Oh, it goes. Well, I just want to say we're really looking for promising results from you. We've seen a lot of growth from this program since you began it so many years ago. And now that you're back with this, um, it's not a promotion, this lateral movement, I really feel we could see a lot of, a lot of development from you. Yes, of course, because when you are laterally moved from the internship program you create, where can you go but up? Exactly. You know, it wasn't too long ago where you and I were equals. And now, look at me, already climbing the charts. Don't worry <laughs> about it. <laughs> hmm. And, uh, Beryl, while you're sitting there contemplating your existential crisis and ennui I'm, or I'm whatever. Laying, but yes, I'm laying, yeah. Yeah. laying, whatever. 
I um, just want you to know there's um, something's happening at Oz Park, and uh, maybe you're interns and you should go look into it. Oh, Oz Park. Of course. Uh, could you fax me the information? That way I can, I can staple it and put it together for, for the interns. <laughs> A barrel. I'm your supervisor. Why would I do work for you? And walks out the door, shutting it. As okay. you uh, sit there, sort of uh, interacting with Hezekiah as you usually do, um, we're going to jump forward in time a little bit to um, sitting around eight period of school. It is a uh, gym class for uh, Simone and Yaz over at Old Briar. And you two uh, catch up together as uh, Coach G looks over. Uh, Gliz, what's, uh, what, are your, what does class look like today? Well, uh, class, uh, class today, as I, as I mentioned before to myself in the mirror, we're learning about Mesopotamia. Uh, so uh, I run my class like a tight ship, all right? Uh, uh, everybody eyes up here everybody focus if i catch anybody uh doing any hanky panky stuff uh i call it out i'm a no-nonsense teacher uh if you ask me to use the bathroom you know what i'm gonna say yes absolutely you can thank you for asking thank you for asking instead of going um right now i think i have in class i have simone and yasmin mm -hmm. in my class right now um and i noticed one of them is sitting in the far back of the room not really interested i imagine they're probably both sitting next to each other whispering about you giving your lesson plan what are you guys saying he's really happy today oh my god he loves this job like i feel like mesopotamia is the only thing he knows yeah he brings it up every class and then we're like Okay, aren't there other units in the curriculum? No, it's like literally three months long. I want to learn about different civilizations, but he won't teach it to us. Ouch. I feel like he doesn't know, and that's why he keeps bringing this up. Uh, Gliz, give me a read a bad situation role to see if you catch what they're saying. Um, oh. And with that, we're going to transition over to our other screen so the audience can see. Uh, What's that? Re okay. Uh, input, input value one. Uh, for Gliz? Let's see. Yeah. For your character sheet, all on roll 20, and you go to uh, read a bad... What, 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 what do you want to do to try to figure out what they're saying? Do you want to investigate a mystery or read a bad situation? I'd rather <laughs> read a bad situation. Okay, so you're going to read a bad situation. Cool. Uh, so for that, uh, on your sheet, you um, just roll, uh, you click the die, and we'll see what you get. Because your stats are already inputted. Nice. Yeah. Uh, seven. You got a seven. So you got a mixed success. So for your character sheet, what do you, uh, let's look at what you get for a mixed success. And I'll pull this up right here. Perfect. On a read about on a seven to nine, hold one. So you get one question to ask as you're looking at them um, in this moment. You're at the top of your class, trying to talk to them about history. What What do you say? Hmm. Uh, Yasmin, could you please share with the class what you're telling Simone right now? Please. What What, what were you um, talking about? We we're just wondering if we're ever going to learn about any other civilization in this class. Learn about any other civilization in this class. I'm sorry, can you read the board right there? It says the name of the class is Ancient Mesopotamia. It says Ancient Mesopotamia. We're going to talk about uh, Sargon of Akkad in the Akkadian Empire, the Babylonians. Okay, uh, we're going to talk about the Assyrians. 
Uh, we're also going to talk about uh, uh, the Israelites in ancient Egypt. Yeah, you were. we're t- uh, no, they're not really part of it. Like the Hittites are kind of. That, a, yeah, we're only talking. Sorry. You see a single you. hand in the back raised from uh, Sean. Yes, Sean. Um, yes. Excuse me, but will we get to the story of Gilgamesh and Enkidu? Will we talk about them as well? Does anyone read my syllabus? It's a question for everybody. Do, does, do you all read my syllabus? Do I just print out a piece of paper that is made from a tree, and do we just, do we just waste it? At this moment, Gliz, you get a text. Simone, you get a text. And yes, you all get a text um, from Beryl. And we're going to see what that text says in a moment. Let's cut over to Beryl, who's uh, grabbed the rest of the member of the interns that she could for an impromptu meeting to discuss the situation. What does it look like? Where are you guys? Where, uh, where do you all meet up to... Um, talk about your task. Uh, we meet up right outside of Oz Park. So you guys are there um, at Oz Park. Um, what, where are you standing in Oz Park in terms of the the center at the edge? Why are we standing by this statue? Well, you guys uh, arrive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're in front of uh, Dolly. You're standing in front of the Dorothy statue. At the uh, north end of the park towards Webster, as you guys all gather, uh, looking around, you see towards the other side um, on the southeast, um, some police tape sort of cautioned off in a certain section. But the rest of the park is still open. People are still moving about. Yeah. Thank you all for coming here as part of your internship program you are required to come when i call but i appreciate it um perhaps uh, i don't know what any of you do for your for your normal day i'm sorry that is just the truth so um thanks for coming great uh everyone have their weapons are we all ready did everybody read did, did everybody get the facts Yes, Beryl, we always bring our weapons. And no, nobody got your facts. Nobody got my facts? Nobody uses facts anymore, Beryl. Sorry, uh, Gliz, you're actually still at school. This is uh, happening simultaneously. So it's Jeff, Beryl, and Dolly who are here. While Yasmin. Yes, Gliz, Yasmin, and <laughs> Simone are uh, still at Old Bryce. So, so no one got the, the facts? Nobody uh, has that anymore. Yeah, that's a sort of an outdated technology. Um, uh, sorry. No, we, not... Um, if you'd like, I could I could help you like set up some e- email. No, no email. Beryl, why are yes. we at the statue? The action is over there where the cops are. So we do not interfere with the current investigation. Think of ourselves as um outside uh we are the the you know when you think of a flower um they never on the think inside. about flowers. if you imagine a flower or have ever seen one imagine a rose all right we're not the petals we are the green stuff outside of the petals the leaves yeah yes. um for sure the leaves uh, I was wondering if they had any extra, um, like, uh, guns or crossbows or, like, scimitars or anything that I could sort of uh, get. Because I am still, I just have this um, softball bat in my Prius, and um, I have a uh, multi-tool. Do you know if there's any kind of, like, requisition form I could sort of take a look at? Of course, thirty four C. Did you not? Did you not fill out your thirty four C? No, should I? Jeff, you it know was you part can... of the facts. Oh, you didn't get the fact. It was part of Jeff. It... You can buy a gun. 
Not here. You'd actually have to go over to to Indiana due to Chicago strict gun laws. But yeah, politically, <laughs> Again, I don't really was, want to like buy a. Was, I don't want to be like a gun buyer. But <sighs> if it was, my it agency was gave me a gun, that would the... seem like. Can I investigate the mystery? No, 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 no. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. No, no, no. We need to formulate the team. Where is the the high school ones? Listen, um, maybe it'd be better if we had some info by the time they got here, okay? I'm going to investigate a mystery, and I'm going to roll for it. Heck yeah. Investigate a mystery. As you stand at the Oz Park with the police on the other side, what'd you get? I got... Did it show up? Not yet, but uh, wait a moment. Hang on, I'm clicking the button. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> Did it work now? You know what? Let me let me see on my end if it comes in faster. If I go to your page, Dolly, and you want to investigate a mystery. And you're sharp, submit. Oh, I have to submit. Oh, okay. But you already woke me. I got you. And I got you a 12, kid. Uh, oh. You're set. You got an advanced success. Um, and so you're, you don't, do you have the advanced improvement for this move for investigative mystery? I don't uh, think you do. Let me look at my character sheet. Mm -hmm. I have, no, I don't. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's all right. Uh, with an investigative mystery, when you get a plus 12, you get to ask, uh, two. So what do you want to ask in this situation? These are, uh, and if you're wondering of the questions, your questions that you can ask are, what happened here? What sort of creature is it? What can it do? What can it hurt? Where did it go? What was it going to do? Or what is it being concealed here? And if you want to do a modified version, like from this question, I want to ask something more specifically. I'll let you have that because you got a 12th. Like you got the maximum that you could. Should I ask them both at once or? You can, uh, one at, I would prefer one at a time. Um, but if they okay. are in tandem, you can ask them together. Um, well, I feel like two of them really go with, like, Dolly's whole vibe. Okay, go ahead. Okay. What sort of creature is it, and what can hurt it? So, you go instantly to try to figure out what did this. What sort of creature made this moment happen? And as you walk over and Jeff and Beryl are talking about faxing and, like, the right form for a requisition and why Illinois' gun laws are where they are, you make your way over to the police that are standing over. And you start chatting with some of them. And one of them you recognize. It's Ken. It's, uh... Ken... Give me, give me a last name. Um... Ken... Morinaga? Ken Morinaga. You've got Ken Morinaga. He sees you and looks over and is like, oh, hey, doll. Um, what, uh, you start chatting it up. He initially thinks that you're here to talk about the murder, uh, not the murder, the, your murder, your parents' murder, and realizes that you're instead interested on the situation that's happening. Um, let's roll play that. Let's uh, do a little conversation. All right, doll. Um you know, I can't really tell you much because you're not actually a police officer. I'm just surprised to see you actually investigating a crime. Okay, okay. Easy, all right? Yeah, at least we're, the badge is here, all right? All right? At least when I'm on the mm -hmm. job. Okay, I see it. God. All right, look. What's going on here, Ken? I don't know. It's some maniac coming around. It looked like blunt force trauma to the back of the per the guy's head the victim unfortunately you're telling me someone just beat someone on the back of the head at a park someone it no it couldn't have been a single punch you know it was or a few it was one blow that was hard enough to cave a man's skull in i don't know anyone who could do that it had to have been someone wielding a sledgehammer or something i don't know but it's it's gruesome doll Fully caved in, huh? Yeah. It... I mean, you send it to autopsy, but... Why am I telling you this, all right? You, you don't need to know the details of what's, what's going on. Listen, Ken, maybe I can help out. Mm -hmm. You know. Show me the body. Can I see the photographs? 
No, you can't see the photograph. What? You're not a police officer, Dolly. <laughs> Look, Can I basically have more experience than the kids finishing whatever school is police school, academy? Okay, all right. You and I both know we should be in school longer than we are to have this job, all right? I'm not going to argue with that. But at the very least, I it took me a while to become a detective, all right? It took me it took me a bit and I understand you So show your... me your stuff then. Hey, hey. Once you fully share all the private investigation you've done on your parents, maybe I'll be in a more forthcoming mood, huh? Hey. It's a cold case. You open that up, I'll work with you. It's cold until I get some All right, we've been this is a circle that we've been down, all right? Um, and so you asked, uh, what, what sort of creature is it and, uh, what can hurt it? Right. Mm -hmm. Those are the questions. Um, as, uh, you and Ken sort of pull back, you look over, um, at one of the statues at the Tin Man who's standing there behind him, his ax sits as you get closer, you look at it, and it's darker. It's stained. You scratch a little bit. That's not dirt. That brown substance. That's dried blood. You could know that taste anywhere. As you're looking at this stone thing, you figure out what can hurt it would have to be something pretty strong or something that could hurt stone or at the very least maybe someone with a little more magical insight might have the answer perhaps the three magically gifted in some capacity members of your party so as you walk back um to barrel and Choi, what, what are you guys uh, what does the argument sound like at this point fast forward to about like 20 minutes later um, but what would don't you need like... email. I don't think it's necessary. I think a fax machine is all you really need. I don't understand I what you want. I can definitely, I can make the font size big. Um, we can definitely make sure that we have some strict filters. It'll be folder style, you know, no receipts or anything like that. I have folders. Would you like to see? And I just like pull up manila folders. You don't even read these folders. What kind of folders are you going to give me? Okay, I'll, uh... Just, I'll make you a dummy account, and you can test it out and see if you like it. Hey, if anyone cares, I just tasted blood. Oh. Um, gross. How was the speaking to the police? Was it fruitful? <sighs> Same as always. Barely gave anything up except be stupid enough to actually tell me something that mattered. Jeez. So, um, we're dealing I with a creature with improbable strength. Honestly, that's so sick. Um, what? <laughs> wait, what creature is it though? I can't tell on my own. Is it? It's not because of me. Like, are you not talking? About, I can leave if you guys need to have like a agency talk or something. You're both interns. You're equal. Uh, oh, you and this doll are. Oh, we're not same. equal. You're, you're yeah, equal I was gonna say like I understand that we have the same rank, but um. The fact that she's like um, killed a lot of people and uh, dresses like a doll, um, and I'm here to um, do information security and technology and like, um, <clears throat> so I was just thinking maybe there was some other business that you two had. But anyways, um, so we don't know what it is. No, because we have to no. go speak to them. Why don't I go speak to the police and the you two get the rest of the high school here? Okay. Um, okay. Dolly? Yes? Promise me no killing while I'm gone, okay? I mean, if I have to kill someone, I have to kill someone. No maiming, and yes, it counts if you hit someone in the face. Okay, I won't hit Jeff in the face, but he better not talk to me about stuff. Okay, I won't. That's, um... that's fine. He has a dummy account and folders that he needs to share with you. Do not, do not kill the IT person. Okay. Okay. Yeah, um, do you want to get in my Prius? Um, the good classic rock station on the radio um, went away, but uh, I have like a, uh, I have this Spotify playlist called Mullet's Rock. 
um and it's like really good uh classic rock if you want to like listen to that while we drive over the high school okay sick <laughs> and so jeff and dolly go over to his prius the five seater making it very smart that barrel stayed behind because there's enough space for the three of the other individuals come by <laughs> um as barrel <laughs> walks away uh towards uh the police department that's sort of sped up um as uh barrel what are you doing now that the other members have left now that it's the only an official member and you can think without all that noise I sigh. I am finally alone. Mm -hmm. They are very loud. I don't understand why the IT one wants me to not fax or whatever it is. And then I realize, oh, it's Ken. Damn it. So I put on the pretend chirpiest face and I'm like, Ken! It's been so long! I'm... I'm sorry. Remember me? Ah, Beryl. I'm from a different department. You wouldn't have heard of the department. It's a different department, but I am also a police officer. Okay, this so is I this is definitely going to be manipulate someone. I know. I was this like, I'm going to roll you, for you, sure. You got you got to have to give me a roll on this, please. Okay. It's a 9. It's a mixed success. What do you get with a mixed success, Shu? Uh he totally he's willing to do what i say but you can tell like in the back of his mind he's totally like all right something's up i don't mm -hmm. i've never seen her like she's weird her yeah. badge looks like it's a hundred years old like i don't know what's going on it, technically it's it's an old code but it still checks out um yeah exactly yeah he's like i i don't know this hell yeah so as um you are chatting with ken he looks at your information he runs it and is like um okay well yeah, there's a bit of an incident that happened. Um, I don't know why Internal Affairs needs to know about it, but... Um, We're just checking in, mm -hmm. you know, crossing our T's, and we are dotting our I's. Sure. That is a phrase that people still use. Mm -hmm. So, if you could just let me, mm -hmm. a police officer, know more about this incident that happened that the police are investigating, then I can leave. Well, sure. Um, come on over. Uh, and he takes you underneath the tape as you walk over to the side of the road. As you're moving along... Uh, I'm ducking all, yeah. like, six foot of me. Right. <laughs> as you're making your way, you guys, you start um, going up Larrabee towards uh, Webster. And along the path, you see the uh, police officer... Pull aside, um, Ken moves you towards an alley where you see a chalk outline, um, a little bit of dried blood still on the pavement in front of the um, uh, dumpster, but yeah, as he looks around it, he uh, pulls out a cigarette, lights it, pulls it out, and goes, well, you know, it's, it's a serial killer. We can say that for a fact because it matches... The same MO as the last couple of uh, last couple of bodies that turned up in this part of the city. Oh, the the four other ones. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, obviously, we have our ideas and, and and our theories, but my goodness, where we stump? It's it is no fingerprints, no hair samples. There's there's nothing other than the same blunt force trauma used. And all the cameras, there's no cameras in the area because it's, it's a park, so there's no stores who are gazing out at the park. Yeah, that's all we know. That's all we know. That's all we know. There's more you've, stuff You've happened. had two months and this is all you know. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. It's of not course. like, hey, it's it's the fourth one in two months, all right? The first one happened, and then it was quiet, and then the second one occurred, and we're like, oh, it might mm -hmm. be something. It could be a copycat. And then suddenly the last two happened this past week, and yes, all right, we're not serving our city as we need to, but we're trying, all right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yes, of course. Absolutely. 
you, yes, you are doing a bang up job. And as I'm, I'm saying this, I'm like sniffing the blood. Mm -hmm. I like take a quick lick and lick it. And I'm like, mm, be positive. Okay. <laughs> um, and I am like smelling it and I'm like putting my ear next to it and just like trying to get every bit of information I can. Mm -hmm. um, and um, do you need me to roll for that? I, yeah, I'd say you're investigating, uh, no, you're, yeah, you're investigating mystery. Investigating mystery? mystery? Yeah, definitely roll okay. for it. And give me, uh, what you get? Let's put it, let's show it to chat. You got another nine! Mixed success. You guys, you're doing okay. real good. A lot of successes. No this failures left. Yeah. happens. Uh -huh. I'm so nervous. It's good. I'm excited. <laughs> like, I'm, I can't wait for all this good luck to happen in the discovery. So when... Okay, but now that we mention it, it's never going to happen again, so... <laughs> we'll see! That'll be fun for me. Um, <laughs> as you're sitting there um, and looking at it... So you get um, uh, hold one. What do you want to ask? Um, I want to ask to see uh, all the documentation. So all the documentation. How would that yeah. lay so, out? So, with, uh, well, I'm just, gonna, I'm just looking at the questions to see oh, yeah. how it corresponds with... Um, so you want to all the so really you want to find out what happened here. This is what the documentation is going to tell you. It's gonna it's gonna uh, give you what they know of the movement. Yeah. And here's what they can tell you. Here's what they can track while they had camera footage. Um, you can tell that Mark uh, was making his way down Dickens um, towards uh, the park. And cross over Larrabee and then um, sort of running into the actual field itself. Um, from there, it's not really sure um, what happens in the park, but something occurs where he um, makes a beeline the opposite direction. He's currently traveling on a pathway going northwest, and at a certain point, it's not clear, but he leaves the park um heading northeast and in that moment um you see him run and they can track his footprints to being in a hustle around the corner as if his speed was increasing and then it just stopped got it and um like i'm watching this video right like the the, the like you're Mark's, like, you're are, this is like up kind of phone I would say it's kind of like you are Sherlocking the situation. You're piecing Got this it. back together in your head, looking at the documentation that's there, and you're re re uh, as we as an audience watch you recreate what happens um, along the path. And you don't, ultimately, there's not enough evidence to indicate who did this, but you do know what happened. Um, yeah. Got it. So it seems to me from just, you know, getting the, the quick smell of everything, uh, Mark was running, he saw something, did a sharp turn, and went the other way. And because there's just so much shadow and it was dark, we can't really see, but it seems like a lot of blunt force trauma seems like something larger than him. Much larger. Something strong. Something that lives in the dark. Hmm. Um... Something that lives in the dark, huh? Oh, yes. Lots of things live in the dark. Nightmares, sadness, derangement, obsession over your partner who died. Lots of things live in the dark. Okay. I see why you work in internal affairs and not the field much anymore. Uh, <laughs> Ken motions you out and says, if you're done here, um, I got to get back to work and get back downtown Look, if you're so interested... Ken, we're, we're, we're old friends. Uh, I've literally just met you today. We're, we're old friends of the heart in the, the law enforcement kind of way. Um, could you fax me all their information by any chance? You know what? Why don't you just hand this to me? I'll copy it and I'll give the copy back to you. After all, I'm internal affairs. I'm what you trust. No, just give me your email. I'll send it as an attachment. Why does everyone need email? It. What is your email? I'll send it as an attachment. I'm not letting you walk off the crime scene with bags of blood and chipped like shoelaces. That's not happening. 
It is Jeff Choi 13 at Lupin. I'm using my nephew. Honestly, the less I know about you, the less my head will hurt. So thank you for your time. I got to go do my job. Just just email. Just email Jeff Choi 13 at Lupin. Thank you. And as you uh, walk away from the situation, we watch uh, Jeff and Dolly pull up to Old Briar High School in uh, the whip your Prius, um, and it's right at 3 p.m., and we see Gliz, Simone, and Yaz uh, walking out together through the front door when you see uh, the Prius pull up, and you open it, and you all climb in. What does the back seat look like? I imagine Gliz is the middle seat. Um, Absolutely. I'm sitting in the middle. Sitting in the middle. Uh, the two of you all pushed up against the side. Uh, yeah. Yeah. What, what does it look like as you guys uh, get in the car? Whew. Well, great day at school, huh, man. Yeah. Well, um, uh, something that's really important is that uh, before they get in, Jeff makes a big point to roll down the window and lean over Dolly to say to them, get in, losers. We're going shopping um, because he just watched Mean Girls and uh, is trying to connect with the with the teens that are getting into the car because he's trying to be like cool with them. Mm hmm. No, as, as you really try to make it clear, that effect is also apparent. As uh, Yasmin and uh, Simone, you walk down, um, followed behind Gliz, um, making your way to the car. Yeah, so that was my cousin, Jeff. Um, uh, oh, yeah, I know, Jeff. We play uh, softball together every other Sunday. Oh, Coach G, you know Jeff also? Yeah. Oh, okay. So there's a lot you don't know about Coach G now. Okay, let me loosen my whistle here for a second. All right, no, I know I'm your teacher slash coach when I'm inside the school, but when we're outside of the school, just call me Glizzy, okay? Uh, it's kind of weird. You can still call me Mr. G or Coach G, but yeah, I'm yeah, me and your cousin, we go, we go way back. Yeah, we play we play softball. He's a cool guy. Great reference. Love mean girls. Nice, dude. Simone. I don't know if you knew my boy GM. <laughs> Ew, well, you guys are so gross. Uh, uh, if by gross you mean dear friends and uh, trusted teammates, um, are you guys getting in? Do we? Is, does everyone know about the mission? Should we? Can we just talk about it? Yeah, I yeah. mean, I don't know why you told everyone we're going shopping. We're going to go to a murder scene. Right. I was trying to. Like inject some levity into the fact that we're going to a murder scene where man's head was caved in because um because we're not actually shopping for his body or anything like that um that's not what we're actually doing I just thought it hey yeah Simone could either one of you guys play music while we're on the way there because we had to listen to like mullets the whole time well to be uh, to be specific it was a playlist called mullets rock um so a lot of really cool. I actually thought the music was pretty good on the way over here. We were listening to Slow Ride by Dolly, Cat. do mullet rock. I don't trust anyone with bad hair. Okay, we can listen to whatever. Uh, any tunes in the Prius Mobile. Uh, we can listen to, um, you know, anything that you you guys, you know, Simone, Yaz, you want to put on number one, Victory Royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we're about to get down. We can listen to that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. Whatever you guys want to listen to. Um, Jeff just got TikTok also this weekend. That's what we're <laughs> learning as well. <laughs> and as you guys are pulling away discussing what should picture. be <laughs> playing on the radio, uh, making your way back over to the crime scene, um, we watch the Prius uh, travel around a corner and take a right and then a left and sort of disappear as the camera pulls out and we see the perspective of that which was looking at it, you see a hooded individual gazing over before stepping to the corner of uh, the building and jumping off before a flash of movement cuts out of the screen. And that's where we're going to go take a break. Uh, hey, guys, we're Monster of the Week with Sir Friday Night. We're going to be back in just a little bit, just like 10 minutes. Uh, don't go anywhere, folks. If you need to use the bathroom, this is the perfect time for it. We'll see you uh, very shortly. Be right back. Let's see. And see you guys soon.
Oh, and we're back. It's Monster of the Week with Sir Friday Night, brought to you by Roll20. We're happy to be here. And let's just get back into it. Um, last we left off, our group had been going to meet up with Beryl, who was left at Oz Park, casing out the location. Um, Beryl, what are you doing uh, by yourself when you see the Prius pull up? I am standing, looking into the darkness, not saying anything and not moving. From the, I, I almost look like a statue. A six foot two statue with a green cape and, and a white shirt. I'm gonna leave it to you uh, all as you guys walk up to Barrel. <laughs> yeah, we roll up in the Prius, uh, which is called White Lightning. Um, and uh, we're blasting God, I so <laughs> a song from our, uh, from Jeff's TikTok playlist, which, so we roll up and blasting, wake up every morning, thinking about so many things. And uh, we screech to a halt in front of Barrel. And uh, Jeff happily sticks his head out of the window and says, I brought friends. And then he's like, Sh I should have thought of a movie reference. Aha, that was a joke. Enjoyable. Okay, so we are all here. You have all gotten the facts and the folders and you are you have come prepared. Did everybody bring their weapons? We always bring our weapons barrel. So that's a yes. From yeah, Dolly. again on the weapons front, do you is there any kind of like way I could get like a like a sun a sun gun, you know, if in case we see any vampires or like a garlic uh garlic um, launcher. You know uh, how they have like potato guns? What if, it, you know, could I have like a garlic gun? I just feel a little naked with this multi-tool. I understand, but you should have requisitioned that before. Um, you can put it in uh, now, but it will take probably four to six human months in your time. It might be plus or minus a couple years, honestly, for them to get it to you. Uh, Jeff, a sun you can gun buy will a t-shirt gun. I saw one yes, on but Lupin. A sun gun will require an extra permit and just so you know, you can buy garlic at your local grocery store okay noted yeah for sure super super stoked to be here awesome thank you All i brought right. my bag so now, oh yeah i see someone bat. requisitioned a, another bat great yes ma'am yes, anyone ma else yes please please don't call me ma'am thank you okay uh, well, um, what should we call you what should we exactly Sorry, uh, I respect authority. I just want to make that clear. So, uh, how should how should I address? How should we all address you, uh, Madam B, Barrel? I no, hate that forward. even more. Uh, you can just call me Miss Miss Barrel. Miss Barrel. Miss Barrel. Miss Barrel. Mm -hmm. Miss Bim. Not Madam. Madam. Not B. Madam. That implies a level of human connection I do not have. Ms. All right. Barrel. Okay. Ms. Ms. Okay. Barrel. Yeah, for all sure. Right. No, Barrel. not a problem. Great, great. Um, so now that we're here, um, real uh, quick, guys, I'm getting a bunch of emails. Um, oh yes, you talked about folders and the police officer. His name is Ken. Um, pretty sure, pretty sure he was from the long line of police officers, and I, I don't know, I, I don't get goodbyes from him. But he, I, he, I had him send all of the information. He requested an email. And I remember you talking to me about your email. So um, I guess this would be a good time to let you guys know that the agency still runs on paper. Uh, we do not do digital. We did have a fax machine. And let me tell you, that was the battle of 1975, <laughs> getting fax. <laughs> uh, good oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> you okay, Glizzy? Oh, yeah, no, I thought that was really funny, Miss Barrel. Oh, um, that's weird because it wasn't. Um, I was wondering if, because uh, I was um, brought on to be uh, okay. an IT guy, um, and I'm just finding out that we don't, we, we run on paper? What is this? Uh, yes, 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 we run on paper. Uh, I don't know why you're here or what job you have, but you were given to me as an intern, and I am here for your professional development. Okay. Does anyone else want to know what's in the emails? This is just me. Oh, yeah. I would love to. For some reason, they're coming to my 13th burner account. Uh, <laughs> and they're just, it's, I don't know. It's 
You have thir- wait, you have 13 work e- multiple work emails as your burner accounts? Yeah, yeah. for uh, subscriptions to different to movie. This one is for Movie Pass. Um uh, RIP. Yeah, RIP, dude. Um uh, Wait, Masood. Yeah. Out of character meta mode. Yeah. Um if I want to get some important information on this email, mm-hmm. do I just tell you? To- <laughs> I think so. Uh, all the information that you've gathered is what we've already talked about. So if you want to just like uh, a brief overview, of what you're getting into your inbox is basically um, everything you know about the situation so far. Um, you know that uh, Mark uh, was running along the right, way, making it. his ways west, then sort of cut the other direction. <laughs> Um, as you're going through it, you see some of the uh, actual reports that verify the things that were told to Dolly about the blunt force trauma. You see some of the autopsy report now has come in since it's been a little time for the police to look at it. Um, yeah, and as you're uh, looking at it, you could, um, so if, if someone wants to investigate a mystery, they can. Um, if someone else wants to... You're in the park now, so you guys want to like go explore and sort of look around and gather clues around here. You can also do that. Um, All right. While you experienced monster magic, people are doing that. Jeff is just looking at his phone, <laughs> wide-eyed, scrolling through the police reports. While Jeff is playing with his square, um, I think that as a fun intern activity, we should investigate this murder with a good old-fashioned stakeout. Now, stakeouts at the agency, some consider them old fashioned, but I think it's the best way to get information. So, any questions? I'm going to regret asking this, but I am required to by my agency. are we, do we have to be outside? Are we are we staking out in a car, or where 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 are we where are we all hanging out? Um, it depends on yeah. Go ahead. No, no, no. Go for it. Uh, <laughs> it depends on what you would prefer. Do you think it would be more beneficial for us to do it in a van that the agency has provided, or would you prefer to stand around in the dark? I know several vampires who still do it the old fashioned way of just standing around. So it's at the agency, you can choose your own development path suited just for you. Did you hear mm. that, Jeff? Barrel knows a few vampires. Isn't that exciting? I think he's still scrolling through his phone. I guess so. Wait, what? I... I was, yeah, I was scrolling through my phone. What's that? I just. <laughs> I just said um They're are bringing you... movie pass back. <laughs> Get out are of you here. excited? <laughs> <What? sighs> Never mind. It's not important. Can I investigate the mystery? Yeah. Is that gonna give us anything different? Yeah. If I um, do it, you can Dolly does it? Uh, I think you could try to investigate and ask a different question if you're looking forward to. Um you and uh Simone and are here, so you could also try and if you want to let's see, um use magic if you want to like try to like figure out um something a little deeper about it um let's see i think there's an option in yeah you can uh, definitely um investigate a mystery and we can talk about how it's different for you versus dolly as you're exploring and ben got an eight mixed success ask me a question about what you want to know and then, um, oh no, these were previous rolls. My bad. Um, yeah, sorry, I rolled that uh, just to test during the break. No, 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 it's all good. And you know what? Roll twenty's functionalities worked great. Top of the line, so useful. Fantastic. Uh, really incredible. Uh, do you want to give us a roll, Usra, about um, investigating a mystery? Sure. Okay. D- should I? So. Hello, I'm still learning this game. So sh- should I investigate a mystery? Or should I use telepathy? But I guess there's no one to mind to read here. So I guess I'll just investigate, right? Yeah, you can use okay. that. Or you, if you want to try to use... What about the statue of the Tin Man? Ah, uh, yes. So I'll investigate the mystery, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, so... 
Um, let me. Okay, so I rolled a. Oh, you got a six a failure. So Ooh. mark a success, uh, mark an experience because the way okay. monster of the week works. Every time you fail, you get an experience. You get closer to leveling up. You fail seven times, you level up. I um, wish life was like that. Yeah, like, I know. Right? Yeah, I think here's things, and I never you, learn. No, it is like that. <laughs> uh, I get how you'd, you'd be at the such a high level to get sued by my job. Yeah. On a miss, you reveal some information to the monster or however you were talking to. Um, okay, so I I think this is good. Um, as you are sitting in this space, walking around, um, trying to investigate what's going on, you close your eyes and settle in to the breeze. There's something there's something swirling in the air. There's something like a fog that is around this space. And you couldn't feel it before, but now as you close your eyes and actually focus, It's not a pleasant feeling. And as you sit and try to identify where it's coming from, where its origin is, it begins to feel closer and closer towards you, almost like it's suffocating. And the moment where it feels like the pressure will be too much, you open your eyes and you're back in the middle of the field. Well, that did not feel good. I wrote that in the report. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I just it felt kind of like I was suffocating a little bit. There's not a good energy here. Hmm. That's that's all I got. You look really I calm. Do. I look calm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. I could sniff around. Maybe that might help. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. Sorry. I want to. I want to. Just. Uh, I want to. Yeah. You sniff around. I, I want to just see something. Oh my God! Bears have are thought to have the best sense of smell of any animal on Earth. So yep. yeah, yeah, I did not know that, but uh, now I, I was yep. like, well, "How feasible is this?" All right, give me. A, uh, what are yeah, you trying to? More than sharks. More than sharks? sharks can smell blood from like hundreds of miles away. Mm, you know what I was always wondering about? How do sharks be smelling in the water? Yeah, you know what I mean? Because you, you, when you it's smell, when I that... smell, I'm like, I'm like bringing in air into my. You can't be bringing in air into your. You nose. want to bring oxygen? Okay. There's water under. The, wait, 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 do you want to know like scientific reason or the no I, I don't I don't want to know I just it was my fun I, 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 I have an answer that that's the real one. I can tell you the real I want answer. the conspiracy oh, okay I want the real one also. I've, I've got a real one and it's it's factual it's because your nose has no bones in it it's all cartilage and a shark has no bones it's all cartilage that's why it's just one massive nose that's what? worse than my conspiracy theory <laughs> how okay, do you so break a nose okay you can so break cartilage. scientific reason is I'll probably break your cartilage <laughs> Whoa. All right, <laughs> IT guy. Let's... Okay, so tell, 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 that was tell, bad. Tell, 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 Okay, listen, there's like sharks have been observed to like kind of um, have some kind of like borg like feature where if one shark gets attacked in Australia, sharks in uh, like the California coast will suddenly submerge themselves super, super long, like almost simultaneously. So my conspiracy theory is that sharks have a different brave wa length wave or whatever it is so that they're able to communicate in a way that we as humans do not understand. I am not a conspiracy theorist except for sharks. I feel like you bring up conspiracy theories a lot for some yeah. reason. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> not true. Conspiracies <laughs> that out of yeah. everybody, yeah. Are you sure? I'm not Wait a, a second. conspiracy theorist except for this but that I just said. Right I, I seem to remember a whole set you did where you said, please give me a conspiracy theorist you want me to talk about because I love oh. conspiracy theories. 
that was in the before times. That was in the before times, and it is in the now. It's this is this is somewhat scientific of a conspiracy theory. Is all mm-hmm. is all I was gonna say. But to get back to the point, Anyways. yes, right. Gliz, you can yeah, definitely so- you can definitely try to sniff out the situation. Uh, all and, right. And what do you? Is it? Are you investigating? Are you trying to get a read on what's happening? Or are you just trying to understand more? Um, uh, well, I first of all, I, I definitely want to ask the group: Is like, what exactly are we looking for? Since you picked us up from from school, like, is there something that you want me to follow? Because it's kind of like a bloodhound, where you know, give me give me a little something, and I could I could probably find it. Give me, give me something to sniff on. Did, did the you read the, on the facts? Tin man? Did you read the facts that I sent you? It was very detailed. Our school doesn't have a fax machine, so unfortunately, I wasn't able to print that out. No, um, where, where are you faxing to? <laughs> That's so good. Like, yeah. The, the number that I gave, they're the fax numbers. If, yeah. Oh, uh, I thought we were doing this via email. Uh, so, yeah. No, well, okay. Well, I'll check. Uh, Earlier, I noticed that there was some blood on the axe of the tin man statue i wonder where that's from okay and i wonder if there's anything on the handle all right i'll sniff it out um i walk over to the the tin man statue and uh uh, can i transform for this for this one uh my 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 smell is is stronger Mm -hmm. uh when i when i transform um my smell is still strong when i don't transform but i'd like wait what, what time of day is it right now it's like probably like six p.m. So it's like getting so it's that like twilight still light hour. Out. It's still light out. Yeah, also, like for you guys to a bear. if you're wondering what time, but I could turn is... into a half bear. Yeah, <laughs> I can't. Can, I am can, aware. I'm a wear bear. You can and, do. You know, control. I've been a wear bear for a long time. Yeah, you have full control of your transformation process. Yeah, right. Yeah. You have the ability to. If you want to say, yeah. well, let's do that. Let's do a little bit where you just. Um, transform your nose to get an investigate if you want to do another investigation on this go for it um okay yeah all right all right i'll roll uh investigate a mystery oh yeah and you know with this one um do you have let me look at your character sheet if there's anything okay that would give you advantage or like some sort of benefit to this role in terms of your moves um um yeah Oh, you gain plus one forward to investigate a mystery when using an alternate form superior senses. That's literally one of your things. Um, so yep. when you uh, investigate a mystery, add plus one to it, um, and let's run it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, damn six. Uh, wait, is that did you uh, did you do a plus one in the forward? Yeah. Oh, you did. So you got a six. Well, mark and experience, mm-hmm. my dude. You're getting those. <laughs> um, and uh, as you're sniffing and and looking at this space uh, as the tin man um you it, you definitely smell blood there's no doubt about it and as you're, you're you're sniffing and you're you're following it you can tell the way that the blood moved was it how to describe it you you smell it and you go to trace the blood trail of where it started from, what's left on the air. And as you're moving across, you catch a few drops on the grass, you catch a few movements there, but as you're going, it's getting fainter and fainter as if it was in fact, I don't know, it seems like it was dripping on the way back is kind of what you gather. Um, and as you're looking at this statue that's standing in front of you immobile, you know this thing killed Mark. This thing killed that man. And as it looks at you, you see that it... Re- a, you catch for the briefest moments what you think is sentience, but no, that was just a trick of the light. No way. I think that statue killed him. No, I don't know. My my smell is off today. I I don't. 
can't even transfer. It's six, six, six o'clock. Yeah, I'm just. I'm very nervous. This is my. This. This is. Uh, uh, just, I'm nervous. Sorry. I, no. Next. Next time I'll turn in. I'll, I'll actually turn. It'll help. I want to. Uh, I'm like looking around and I'm like, oh boy. Everyone's like trying to do their own thing and like squabbling and Jeff's still like scrolling through his emails. Uh, I'm gonna use magic and I'm going to observe another time or place. I'm going to. Obs- I'm gonna try to observe the uh, actual incident as it happened. Okay. Do you have as a? Do you have access to magic as your character? I know it's one of the I basic moves, so. but not necess- Like it depends on the character as like an option. So let me just. See Got about it. barrel real fast. We're getting to some information. Um, um, you know what? I would say yes, but you're you're um, you're not using magic. You're using a magic item. So you Ooh. have um, a stopwatch from the agency. There's not a lot of things that they can do in terms of actually give you um, so much power or control to affect the situation. But you know as you pull it out and you look at the situation, gathering the information that you do, if you center yourself and calm your thoughts, you can try to recreate the space and look as what it was from a, a full holistic perspective. So uh, to use this magic stop, uh, uh, like pocket watch that you have, give me a re- use magic roll, and we'll see how well it comes across. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And you rolled, ooh, a four, a failure. Dang. Mark. Plus, a, plus one. You know what the best thing about when you fail using magic, though, is it? it's bad. It's real bad. Um, oh, so nice. you, as you're holding um, the, let's see, on a 10 plus, 7, 9, duh, I'm going to use magic on a roll plus weird. Um, let's see. And if you fail, I get to choose some of the um, effects. Yeah. Okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> um, as you're trying to figure out and interact with this stopwatch um trying to recreate the situation that's present something is amiss in the air and as you press it to try to go back to like see the space to display it across your mind um before you know it the clouds above you begin to shift and they start to swirl And suddenly the wind is picking up and it is heavy and moving fast. And as you look, you see no one on the street seems to be noticing you all. And then all of a sudden, you jumped forward. Or back, it's hard to say, but it's night now. And as you look around in this space, the wind is still moving faster and faster and faster. And suddenly you hear it. A creak, a snap, a thud. As you look forward and see nothing. The Tin Man statue is still on its space. Look around the corner, and there's the scarecrow from the other side. Turn to your left, the lion has descended and closing and behind you Dorothy stands in front of you still stone but gazing at you with a grin and an inquisitive look oh oh this is good we usually we usually have to hunt for our meals but now you're just here okay terrific um boys you hungry? Dig in. And the scarecrow screeches in a sound that you pains on the ear as it begins to close in on you. Um, what do you all do? So Jesus Christ. And uh, I am going to use my uh, 
one of my playbook moves, which is for the mundane, which is me, no powers, just a guy mm-hmm. with guts. Um, I'm going to use my power called What Could Go Wrong, and I'm going to charge into immediate danger without heating, <laughs> without hedging my bets. Um, Jeff gets pissed off. He's like, Jesus, what the hell? And he takes out his uh, multi-tool, mm-hmm. flips open the biggest knife, and uh, so two just, and a half inches, very, yeah. very threatening. Yeah, yeah, two and a half inches, not bad. <laughs> um, and uh, he uh, runs and throws uh, a knife at uh, at let's say the scarecrow. That's the one that's most susceptible to knife violence. Mm-hmm. Um, when I charge into immediate danger without hedging my bets, I hold two, and I may spend them to do some other cool stuff. So let's okay. do the roll first. Um, got a six got failure a six. uh it, does anyone want to help him out does anyone if because a six is just one away so someone could try to help but if you try to help you expose yourself to danger um I if you try to help try... him fail oh yeah okay. okay um wait there's um da, 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 da. i can do a jinx right no, you can uh, actually, uh, no? one of the moves Just is, help? Lit- you can literally help, but e- if you want to describe it, um, like you casting, like, or doing something in this moment, um, the way Monster of the Week work is also, there's not really an initiative order, we're just going to talk about what happens. So as you think about, obviously, let's be mindful of one another, giving each other space for each character to make decisions, but in the same capacity, if you want to say, like, if you decide to help Jeff, that doesn't mean you can't do a jinx later. It's not just going to, like, eat up that option for you. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'll just help Jeff. Okay. How do you help Jeff? Let's. Uh, uh, I need you. We need to think. Like, what do you want to do as you see Jeff moving forward? Let's get a, lo- a little description and then make your roll. Okay. Well, so you tried to stab him, right? And it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. I said, "Oh no, it's a scarecrow." No. It, this. Yeah. The stab, He just picks up his multi tool and he's going to throw it. Oh. Okay. So he's going to throw it, yeah. and it's not. Okay. It's not going to hit. So can I mm-hmm. use my brain? to force the yeah. it, first force the knife you, you want to give it a little guiding hand along the way yeah. to make it find purchase absolutely yes, yes, yes. um so give me a, a roll on it to see if you help or what happens so for a help out yeah okay and you know what for this one you can do plus weird mm-hmm. since you're using magic as a modifier okay okay wait so let me so help out mm-hmm. and then i do my input value with weird okay mm-hmm. Help out with weird. So submit, submit. And to failure. Then, uh, so you expose yourself to some danger in this moment as you push and pull and try to guide um, this uh, multi tool that has left Jeff's hand. And as it's flying through the air, you push it and it goes with so much force. Incredible force. You make it go so fast and it hits a bronze statue and it bounces off ricocheting back cutting you across the arm for one damage <laughs> so you're going to take one harm okay. from that um as wait, wait 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 yeah because um what could go wrong mm-hmm. it says Okay, here's the exact text. Yeah. Whenever you charge into immediate danger without hedging your bets, hold two. You may spend the hold to do one of the following. Inflict one harm, reduce someone's harm by one, or take plus two forward on an act under pressure. So I want to instantly pull out a bunch of like uh, disinfectant wipes <laughs> and first aid and be like, yeah. Gee, oh my god. I think yes, man. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, does it have to be on another turn? I can't. Oh no, no, right no, 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 no. I get you. So, oh, I see. Actually, so you don't actually need to roll to do what could do wrong. What you rolled for um, was a kick some ass roll in the middle of it, right? Like you were, were you trying right. to? Yeah. So you were trying to hi- uh, fight it, but you were doing what could go wrong, running into it. So in this, in this one. Oh, so it's a move instead of a roll. Yes, exactly. The move, the move is different. Like. Um, so if you want to use what could go harm, what could okay. go wrong, I would say act under pressure. Well, would it be let's, the thing uh, you would add? Um, yeah. Let's say it was just a kick some ass then. Well, you know what? I think because I rolled anyways, what, so I'll, everything I'll, is the same. I'll give you this. Um, you used what could go wrong. Now that we know it, we'll 
be more mindful on the forward. But you rush into the situation, you grab your knife, you throw it. Uh, Yasmin, you see this happening, and you aid by giving it a little force, but it goes too far. And for every... It is also ineffective against a bronze statue, you quickly realize. And it bounces back. You see it going towards Yasmin, Jeff. Your knife that you threw. And before you even realize, you push, and sort of it sails across uh, uh, her head, landing in the grass. What are uh, the other individuals doing as this is occurring? Joan? Um, I, I don't know what to do. I do have a lot of magic. Mm-hmm. So how about I try using my magic? Go for it. Okay, so one of the moves I have is called the third eye. I could take open up my third eye for a moment and take in extra information. Okay. So how do you do this move? Let's see, let's pull up your character sheet. I could see invisible things. Ooh. And then some stuff happens if I miss it. Very, negative things. Yes. Can we find out like what harms them? With this you open yeah. the third to gain an extra information. Yeah, we can we can figure out some more of this stuff. Use open your third eye. Okay, so mm-hmm. do I roll a, a dice or so do you I just... click if you click on the die right there? Um, you uh, so when you're gonna read a bad situation right now using your third eye. So mm-hmm. this is oh, did we? Do it? No, we edited it. So, um, you should just read a bad situation. My bad. Um. Okay, and then I'll do zero for forward. Yes, zero for forward. Oh, actually, though, you... Let's get your starting values. You know what? You got a 10, because you're just good at it. Um, but, uh, let's update some of your... When you get a chance, um... You might want to update your starting stats so you could have modifiers in there to have balance you up. But right now, you roll a 10, so you read a bad situation. With your third eye, um, successfully, you get to take a plus one on any result of seven or more. So on this one, uh, you get three. You get to do uh, uh, three on read a bad situation. So you can, what's my best way in? What's my best way out? Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? What's the biggest threat? What's most vulnerable to me? What's the best way to protect the victims? So I'm gonna put this in chat as well so you can, um, in the Roll20 chat, so you can read this at your leisure, so you can sort of figure it out. But with uh, your opening your third eye, you get to ask three of these. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's figure out um, what's my best way out. Yeah. And That's what's... One. Uh, what's the best way to protect the victims? Two. And are there any dangers we haven't noticed? That's number three. Okay. So um, what's the best way out? As you're looking and you're seeing this space, you start to realize um, the lion is circling around the group. The scarecrow is encroaching closer and closer. And the tin man is still standing at the edge of of the park. Dolly is sitting on a rock, kicking her feet up and forward, and as you look with your mind open, you see her shoes, glistening red, ruby. There's magic in these. And as they're spreading, you start to realize that whatever is keeping the wind that's circling this space, this new tornado that is forming around you all it is centered and being powered by her kicks um so that's uh and you figure the best way out is you have to somehow get her out of those like what she is controlling everything through them in this moment um so that's the best way out best way to protect the victims don't get hit try not to get hit or if you can um, do it in a way that can do enough to them. Because as you're looking at these things and you realize these, these are bronze, solid 
bronze statues that are moving autonomously. They are dense and mass. And you know, as someone as a as a someone who actually goes to their physics class, yes, um, force is mass times acceleration. They already have mass, and they're able to move themselves magically. Who knows how fast they could accelerate if they really had the ability to? Um, so you have to. The idea is whatever you do to them has to be big enough to like really hurt. There's they've got some. There's a level of protection that they have. Um, and then um, what was the last one? The last question you asked. Um. <laughs> it's okay. Are there any dangers we haven't noticed? The any dangers you haven't noticed. As you open your third eye and in this space, you look at it. You feel something watching you from outside the maelstrom. But yeah, you gain this knowledge. Um, what do you do? You, do you shout it out to the group? What do you what do you do as, as you quietly? Um, also, what does it look like? What does it look like in this moment as you see this stuff and you gain all this information? Describe it for us. Yeah, I feel like I'm having like a weird psychic moment mm -hmm. with all this like information mm -hmm. like coming in and I'm just like shouting at everyone like, guys, there's crazy shit happening. <laughs> and I don't know, there's blood. And I don't know, I'm, all, I'm also like really, really like intrigued by all of this 10 man lore and stuff happening as well. Mm. And as you're thinking about lore, I think it hits you. This park is in reference, like the actual Oz Park in Chicago was made and created um, in reverence of L. Frank Baum, the original author of the text, um, the book. And something about that history feels important. You don't know why, but something about the fact that this real story has become a nightmare feels meaningful. And as you're explaining to the group what's going on, you begin, uh, you're, you're shouting, you're closing your eyes, you're looking at everything you're shouting. You don't see the um, scarecrow get closer and closer as it reaches out its hand to um, make a grab at you. Gliz, what do you do? Well, uh, I want to kick some kick some ass. Hell yeah. Uh, I couldn't turn into a damn uh, a damn bear before, but I I'm pissed. I want to turn into a bear now. Yeah, I, I need to I need to transform, kick some ass, and I'm gonna roll for it right now. Hell and yeah. you know who I'm going for? I'm going for that damn cowardly lion. You know why? Because he's also a beast. So it's gonna be beast against beast. And he's a coward, according to the movie, from what I remember. So I think this is going to be easy. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see. Kick some ass. Uh, okay. That's how. And we, then, yeah. yeah. And then the input value, because I want to use my claws with that too. Oh, so we'll add uh, that afterwards. So I'll, add that. I'll, yeah, okay. yeah, you don't have to do anything. We can just do it. And let me pull up Gliz's. Because um, one of the things that you have for your character is yeah. uh, your claws of the beast. You get plus one yeah. to um, uh, your natural attack steal plus one damage. Hell yeah. Okay, so I could just add that. Um, yeah, yeah. So what are you are you gonna do your teeth or your claws? I'm gonna start off. I'm gonna start off with my claws. Your start claws. Off claws first. Test uh, test it. You know, be at a distance yeah. because he's a lion. I'm a bear. My right. bear form are much taller than a lion standing up because mm -hmm. lions can't stand up on their back feed okay so inputting value let's see oh you got a 12 my dude we see hell yeah Liz coming and sees the scarecrow getting closer and closer to uh simone you see him charge getting nearer and nearer and his face begins to cover in fur as it gets filtered out the clothes oh, on his back on. let me I'm gonna I'm gonna transform I I right now I whole, I and know, then my whole phase. Oh, there it is! Is it's coming across his nose <gasps> and then his ears growling as we see uh, the 
his oh, you could only body, see that on Zoom. His mass begin to change and develop, and he no longer can actually support himself only in the straight bipedal fashion on two feet, and begins to move on all fours as his sweatshirt bursts, and the only article of clothing on his chest that rem- remains is, in fact, his whistle. And as you're charging the scarecrow for a moment, because it has no brains, thinks that you're going for it, scared ducks, um, gives up on its attack on Simone as you hop over it and then get into a tackling match with uh, this, uh, with the lion. You, uh, so with a kick some ass, you have an advanced success. Well done. So with this, you get a couple benefits. Um, I'm going to pull up your character sheet just so you can, um, I'm going to also put these in the Roll20 chat so folks can read it there. I believe they can see it here as well. Um, But uh, I want you to know, um, also, so where most things happen is that when you kick some ass, you will take one harm no matter what. You'll take some Mm -hmm. sort of damage. But because you have a 10 plus, you could um, suffer. You get to uh, choose one extra effect. So um, not only do you get to do that three damage that you wanted to do against them, but if you wanted to do um, get a plus one moving forward, if you wanted to give someone a plus one on their next roll against this guy, you could. If you want to inflict terrible harm, do more damage, you can do that. If you want to suffer less harm, you can take a minus one. Or you could position them to force them exactly where you want to. Could I could I help with the the whole scarecrow situation? Because I know that was uh, took two of us out of there. I, I so could I help them for the next for the next next one? I think that's good. I think you um, you're gonna take uh, as you get in a scuffle with the lion, you're gonna take two harm um, from its own okay. claws as it gets you. But you inflict three against it, and you get your feet into it as you push and kick it to put it exactly where you want them on top of the scarecrow so they're now sandwiched yeah. together at this space and you see the tin man standing sentinel behind as dolly grimaces and says all right come on come on boys this is no fun if they fight back just do i have to do everything myself and you see um uh, she begins to stand up on uh top of the rock dolly what do you want to do in this moment well, if I'm going to have to do it myself, I'm going to kick some ass. Heck yeah. yeah. All right, let me roll this kick some ass. Mm-hmm. And then... Submit. No forward. Submit. Failure. Got a five. It's okay. Mark an experience. This is how we grow. Um... Uh, so on uh, miss, it's not good. As you get up forward, you pull out your shotgun, aim it steady at um, as your pump action at uh, this Dorothy, and you fire. And as you do, you see her uh, look at you, and it's impossible for her ankles to move faster than the bullets. But somehow they do. And her heels are clicking. And the next thing you know, you and Dorothy have switched spots. And now your own bullets are coming your way. So you take... uh, How much damage does your gun do? Um, It does... Three harm. You take three harm. Um, For the record, guys, if you get... uh, one to three harm is pretty light injuries like a band not a band-aid but like if you put some gauze over it if you wrap it you'll be fine four to seven harm is something debilitating happens like your leg is broken or you puncture a, a rib or you like your rib is cracked like you will make things a little more difficult for you um and eight I harm will say though, is dead yeah one of my um characteristics it, or my moves yeah. is um, going berserk, which means no matter how much harm I take, I can always keep going in the current fight mm-hmm. until it's over, and um, nothing bad happens to me in terms of harm until the, the end fu- of the fight. The fight's where it done. Takes effect. 
Hell yeah. yeah. You, I mean, you don't need to activate that berserk yet because you're still, uh, you're just at the threshold, but that's good to know. Um, okay. And so you, uh, yeah, so you go, you switch spots and Beryl, suddenly you see uh, Dorothy standing right next to you. Um, what do you do? Wait, sorry, was that Barrel? Yeah, it was a Barrel. Sorry, uh, I got distracted <laughs> by the chat. It's okay. Um, I am going to try to do a, um, I think, act under pressure. Hell yeah. What do you want to do with your act under pressure roll? Uh, I want to see if I can take out Dorothy. Okay, let's see. What do you mean by uh, take out? Describe me what you want to do and i'll tell you if you could do that in your act under pressure got it i have a submachine gun that does three harm it is a close area it's loud and it's a reload and i would like to use that and uh knock her down that is a kick some ass roll with you got force it. them where you want them so you like re you want to like mow her down into the ground is kind of the move this uh statue bronze statue of dorothy from the wizard of oz yes Okay, hell yeah, go for it. All right. Uh, Give me that roll and tell me how you do. Yeah. Plus the tough is two. Uh -huh. So. Oh, yeah. With default. You got a seven? It's a mixed success. So on a okay. mixed success, you get to uh, take plus one. Um, well, sorry, and a seven plus, you and whatever you're fighting harm each other. Um, and then, uh, so you, this usually means you inflict the harm rating of your weapon and your enemy inflicts their harm rating on you. So, um, you barrel, you see them pop up, you whip out your machine gun and begin to blast away with your, uh, uh, it's going and you're trying to empty a full clip. And as you're right next to him, you do it. You start to see cracks in the bronze as it begins to puncture them, but being so close, you are getting hit with some of its natural ricochet coming towards you. And so you're going to take one harm as bullets begin to bounce. Or actually, yeah, one harm as bullets begin to... Like, you're you're right next to each other fighting, firing into this solid metal object. Um, yeah. For the reference, my machine gun is named Fuzzy Wuzzy. <laughs> as you... What do you say? As you pull out Fuzzy Wuzzy as, as Dorothy appears right then. If Fuzzy Wuzzy was a bear. Did you know that? No. He did, and now I immediately regretted that name, saying that out loud, throwing it out there. Um, now I know why you recruited me. Okay, <laughs> you got to think for bears. All right. I like that this uh, conversation is happening while the Dorothy statue and the rest of them are ha are getting at you. Yeah, very good superhero <laughs> banter. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just say. Frank Baum sucked anyways, and I never liked him. He was rude, and he cheated at poker. <laughs> and as you uh, hear that, you hear Dorothy say, Who's Frank Baum? Um, and begins to stand up and brush themselves off a little bit. My, my, you all are such rude food. You just can't sit still and let someone enjoy their meal? <sighs> Fine, if I have to do everything myself and you see um she takes out of her bag that she's got here a little like uh picnic basket that's been with her um a little metallic toto she pats it on the head and throws it out forward and suddenly it doubles triples quadruples in size when you see a massive metal dog sitting in front of her, um, growling at you all. Um, at this moment, you see Jeff and Yasmin. You pop back up uh, after everything's sort of been going around. Um, you don't have to do your turns together, but Yasmin, you haven't had an official turn. What do you do? I want to kick some ass. Yeah, you can you can try to kick some ass. You can also use magic to kick some ass. No. Where you, I think it's um, 
you roll kick some ass, but you uh, include your weird as the modifier. Or, mm-hmm. okay, sorry. No, that's cool. I don't know if I want to kick some ass or if I want to tune in to the monster. Kick ass. Uh, what would you say? Kick ass. Kick some ass. Kick some ass. Come on, kick some ass. Yeah, kick some ass. Yeah, listen to the peer pressure. Kick some Come ass. On. This is your internship. What are you going to do? Investigate? Kick some ass. This is your okay. internship, and you should do whatever you'd like. But if okay, you'd like to girl. kick some ass, now's like a really good time. Okay, you know what? Yeah, I, 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 I came to this decision all on my own after some hard thought. I think I'm gonna kick some ass. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. So uh, yeah. roll, uh, roll the kick some ass with some tough. Uh, what are you? With some you... tough or some weird? Uh, well, tough? how are you kicking some ass? Are you using any of your weapons? Or are you using magic? I can use a weapon. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll submit. And I will... Oh, you got a mixed success. So, okay. So, uh, Yuzu, who do you uh, take aim at? With, um, you see, as uh, Jeff, you're standing right there complaining about, um, thinking earlier about the fact that you actually don't have a firearm with you. You see an 18-year-old next to you pull a 9 millimeter out of their purse and begin to start shooting at, um, which of the statues? I think I'll go for the uh, scarecrow. You go for the scarecrow, which uh, is no. currently pinned underneath um, the. Uh, oh, that's right. Yeah. Maybe I'll go for Toto. Let's go for Toto. No, for sure. I mean, I, so just to give an idea of like where things are, the scarecrow is pinned underneath uh, the lion. The lion has had damage done to them from uh, Gliz. Um, Dorothy has always been also been hit a little bit by Barrel. And now Toto has joined the fray. The Tin Man is at the edge of the field watching. Okay. Yeah. Let's do Toto then. Perfect. Um, so you uh, take your gun and you shoot at Toto. To- and as it begins to see you, it snarls. Um, how much damage uh, your gun does? It does two, right? I think it does. Yeah, my my yes two harm yeah so as you shoot at the thing um i'm gonna tell you right now it has an armor rate it's got an armor rating of one so it's going to ignore that first bit of harm and only take one harm off of that as uh it you shoot at it you it hits it still moving crushing towards you and it raises a paw and swipes you across uh your chest you take uh two harm as you move across Going back, Jeff, it's you, bud. Okay, that didn't go how I thought it was going to go. So, um, I think that uh, I want to go heal Yaz. Is that possible? If I act under pressure and try and run across and help her not be harmed? Yeah, you can definitely do that. Okay, great. Well, then I'll, I'm going to act under pressure uh-huh. um, with my meager uh, first aid knowledge. Mm-hmm. And check out this hot roll. A, a six. A six. failure. A failure, my dude. What a surprise. Uh, well, guess what? I don't have any superpowers. You guys should be picking up all the slack. If you want me <laughs> to uh, not build a firewall, because I don't actually have a computer science degree, but I could... Uh, Tell yeah, you what sure. TCP IC, IP ports uh, to use. Yeah. Anyway, so the point is, yeah. I bungle it, and I. <laughs> I was about uh, to say, uh, yeah, as you're man. laying on the ground, as Jeff is like, yeah, the the need firewall, sure, but then in this situation, I, yeah. oh, it's it's okay, yeah. Jeff, JC, it's okay. It's alright. Uh, Very okay. important to the team. Thanks for trying. No, JC, you hey, know? don't beat yourself up. Uh, and then act under. Gee, pressure. I don't know, guys. Let's. No, well, I mean, on. here's the only downside: because you fail, obviously you. you mark experience that's not downside that's great um on a miss i believe what happens here um on a miss things go to hell so as uh you are trying to um put some pressure on this and you're you're uh, moving your hands over the space you pull out some of your um equipment your gauze you start covering over the wound and you like toss it and as uh you toss this bloody 
um, bandage, it perfectly lands in the scarecrow's mouth. And as its me- metal teeth and mouth shut on it, you see it begin to inflate, to grow, as it stands up, pushing and shoving the cowardly lion aside, as it stands now twice as big as it was. Jeff starts shouting, blood blimps, blood blimps. Blimp? But guys, look, blood blimps. Whoa. Well, this is free reign. Anyone can go next. I, I feel like, Joan, we haven't heard from Simone yeah. in a little bit. Yeah. Wait, what's a blood blimp? I, I have no idea. That was a phrase <laughs> that Jeff just said. So I... I... Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> well, what? It got it got blood in its like mouth, and it started getting bigger, right? He's your cousin. You don't know what he's talking about? <laughs> I it was like a... <laughs> blood blimp. Yeah. Cousins blood blood that's always understand bigger. each other. Are you sure you guys are related? A, I got that reference. Man, Jeff has been doing nothing but making sense this whole game. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're not a, wrong. I understand you, JC. It's all right. That's my boy. Mm-hmm. That's my boy, Glizzy. <laughs> you see? That's my boy. I die for my boy. And as you guys, uh, so Simone, as you're uh, <laughs> contemplating and putting two and two together um, on what a blood bimp is, uh, what do you want to do? Okay. Um... I guess I could try kicking some ass because earlier the magic was just like, I don't know. I was I mean, in a weird you, psychic moment. It was good. You found out a lot about it. You know, Dorothy's the ringleader. Her shoes seem to be the thing that um, is at the very least the source of her power. Um, but yeah. But then can I try fighting Dorothy? You can do whatever you want. If you want to kick some ass on Dorothy, go for it. She's yeah. uh, currently been hit for... How much does uh, barrel does your uh, machine gun do? Uh, like three. Three damage. So she uh, all, she also has this tough... Uh, this like armor feature. Um, the same thing with Toto. So she took two damage off of that. Um, other than that, she hasn't really been hurt. But yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then um, I'll roll. Kick some ass. Let's see what you got. Okay. I got an eight. You got an eight? It's a mixed success. Okay. So uh, uh, what are you doing to use to kick some ass? Are you using your magic? Are you using any weapons in this space? I have a weapon. Yeah. It's an heirloom sword. Oh, very cool. nice. So you, uh, what does it look like in an heirloom sword in a style? Are we thinking, um, yeah. If you, in your mind, what does it look like? Is it curved? Is it is it straight and pointed at the end? Does it have like a medieval hilt? Well, what does it appear to be? Um, it's it's old. It's dusty. It's pointed at the end, and yeah. there's like like jewels encrusted on the handle, and it's gold. Ooh, it's a gold blade with jewels encrusted on the handle, and it's um, I'm thinking of in my head because now that you said it was like pointed at the end. I think of a, uh, you know, the meteor sword from Avatar: Last Airbender that Sokka makes, or it's it's like the same style of Mulan sword, where it's just like like four points at the top, sort of, and you pull it out this gold with the encrusted handle, and uh, you swirl it around, um, and then you slash once, twice. How much damage does it do? It does two harm. You did two harm to it. it so this uh, Dorothy has the tough feature as well. So it ignores one of those harm, but the other one does get through. So Dorothy's not taking three harm in this situation. Is reeling, sees you, and and fine, fine. It's fine. You know what? I will eat my meat and food once they're dead. It's you know what? It's fine. I will do it over your corpse, and I will be happy. And in this moment, she snaps her fingers once again, and you are no longer where you're standing, but in the air, 10 feet above where you were, falling fast to the ground. You take one harm as uh, Dorothy spatially displaces you. Ooh. 
Um, who goes next? I'm I'm gonna jump in and kick some more ass. Heck yeah. yeah. I'm targeting Dorothy. Mm-hmm. As, and I'm gonna mm-hmm. kick her ass real good. I want you to know as uh, you're looking at Dorothy and making this space, um, the scarecrow is standing in between the two of you. You're gonna have to get through it as you try um, to get closer to Dorothy herself. And in this moment, since Dorothy has now taken a more vicious approach, you see the demeanor of the lion shift as well. Instead of going a further uh, perimeter sort of space around them, is now sort of situated themselves behind Dorothy. So Mm -hmm. they're they're now, Toto is in front of them, like right in front of them. Uh, It was actually to the side interacting with Yaz. You've got um, Dorothy standing in front of you behind the scarecrow with uh, the lion sitting behind them. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm going to roll. It's a failure. So you're going to uh, take one experience. Very good. And as you run up, making your way, you see the route in your head. You're going to slide through the scarecrow's feet, duck around Dorothy's first move, and be in there so fast before she can do whatever of this magic that she's capable of doing. And as you're thinking about these moves, you go to slide underneath the scarecrow's feet, and its hand's already waiting for you. As it picks you up, looks at you, and then throws you across the field for an additional two damage as you bounce twice on the ground. Um, So you're currently at five, your berserk kicks in. Um, you see your shoulder has dislocated. You pop it back in, um, and you get yourself right up. Um, what? Uh, who wants to go next? Can I claw kick uh, Toto into into something? That's what that's what I want to do. Heck yeah! Uh, I want to claw kick Toto into that that goofy scarecrow. Uh, straighten straighten the straighten the the head. Absolutely, you can because he doesn't have a brain. He doesn't have a brain. Doesn't have a brain. Yeah, it's just gonna break its cartilage in its nose. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's part of kicking some ass uh-huh. with my claws. Okay, come on, Toto. Uh, yeah, you get up close. Okay. There. Damn, it's Toto a failure, my... my dude. Uh, you. Uh, Get yourself an experience. This is good. Um, and as you go to get up close with Toto, it goes up and sees, um, what's it called? Uh, it, it sees, yes, it sees you coming and moves over um, from continuing after Yasmin and begins to run at you. And the thing about the lion is, while it may have been cowardly, this is Dorothy's dog, and it's going to protect her. Um, and it hits you, knocks you down. Um, you take two damage from it as it collides with you. How much damage are you at? Uh, so minus three. Oh, you're at, at three right now? Okay, yeah. cool. So you're at, once it, if you hit over four, let me know. Because um, mm-hmm. it happened for Dolly, but she has an ability that prevents it. But yeah, mm-hmm. um, who wants to go next? Could I have helped with that situation, maybe? Um, or is it too late? You, see, with the help, I don't think you can add. Let me double check how much you can add with the help out. Because okay. you got a five, so I don't know if it would have. That's I think it's fair. a plus one. It's it's a plus. Okay. On a ten plus, you get a plus one. Um, I see. Okay, mm-hmm. that makes more sense. Never mind. No, no, no it's okay. good. But it's also, you know, this is our... We've we talked about the rules, but this is our first time like really playing it. It's important yeah. that we understand. Yeah, and uh, I appreciate we, your patience. We don't have an initiative order, right? So if I had a hot breaking idea, yeah, this is uh, the way Monster of the Week goes. It's a little more freeform. Like if we collectively build it in ourselves. If you got a hot idea and folks are okay with you taking up space that way, go for it. Yeah, I'm sure everybody's fine with me taking up space. Um, what I am going You're to do... Lovely. Said the cis hat <laughs> man. I yeah. about to talk, but that's fine. Um, they see? There's IT. Yeah, check that. Check out my hot IT brain idea. <laughs> um, 
Jeff recently watched Wizard of Oz. Uh, so uh, I would like to make the an vampire act. Version. <laughs> the vampire version. Yeah, the vampire version. Um, <laughs> vampire. The, uh, so he is going to act under pressure to sprint back to the Prius and get out a bottle of uh, overpriced uh, I get, I won't use the brand name, but, you know, intelligent water. And uh, he's going to use it to throw on the statues and see if that does anything like the movie where uh, the Wicked Witch melts at the end. If you, spoiler alert. Melting. For, Wait, yeah, hang it, on a second, but that didn't do anything to, to Dorothy. Right. Uh, Jeff's not thinking that hard. <laughs> uh, he just watched the movie, you guys. He yeah. just saw the movie. And he's try- yeah. he doesn't know anything about magic, so he's just like, oh, well, any any strategy I can think of. You go, you oh. you run in and you grab uh, the uh, intelligent H2O bottle that's sitting there, um, and you pick it up and you start doubling back. Um, <laughs> oh, here's the God. thing, though, Jeff. As you run to your car that's parked on the <laughs> other side of the street, the moment you step off of the bounds of Oz Park, thump, thump, snap. You look over in the corner, there's the Tin Man, now off its perch, closing with you. What do you want to do? Interns. Uh, I think Jeff abandons the, uh, the water plan. And um, gets in the Prius <laughs> to hit him. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> and you know what? Uh, That's where we're going to call it this week as we see oh, no. Jeff turn the engine of the car on, gaze at the Tin Man, and put his foot on the pedal. Uh, yeah, not on the gas. It's not, a, a, <laughs> it's not on the pedal. He's got to put it on the. Well, you got to <laughs> shift it out of park first. You got to. You got to. <laughs> yeah, and it's got to tell you how much uh, power you're using. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Um, but yeah, guys, this is uh, Stir Friday Night with Monster of the Week. Let's go around and uh, do our outros. We'll. Uh, how do we start in this? Who went first in our introduction? I believe we had Erica go. So let's do a reverse order. Let's go, uh, Shu. If you want to start us off, and we'll round out with Erica. Then uh, tell us who you are. Where folks can find you on the internet. Um, and yeah, what, what are you up to? Uh, hi, everyone. My name has been Chu uh, slash Barrel. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at hello there Shu. It's spelled X as an X-ray, U as in U-turn. Chinese people are very tricky like that. Um, you can catch me Wednesday nights, Worcester Friday night. You can also catch me playing Kids on Bikes uh, Mondays at 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific time, 10 a.m. Central time. I understand time zones. Um, we it's are, 11 a.m. Are... God, no. ah, no. damn it. Uh, 11, you know what? Two hours. <laughs> no, eight well, well, no, eight, eight to ten. To ten. <laughs> eight to ten. Oh. Good thing you're oh, not in oh, Stick to, yeah. yeah. No, sorry. Yeah. I'm in uh, Arizona time. Easy. Arizona mountain yeah. time. Yeah. If you've ever been there. Oh, my God. Um, but <laughs> come catch us. Uh, I stream with really, really fun folks. And we are just getting started on our secret underground under the school uh, mind adventures. Ooh, very fun. And that's, uh, you said Monday mornings at 8 a.m. Pacific, 10 yes, a.m. Central. I uh, got you, I got you. Uh, Harrison, you messed me up so hard. <laughs> well, now let's see how Harrison does it because he's up next on the order. Harrison, tell the folks who you are, where they can find you on the internet and what you're up to. Hi, everyone. I'm Harrison. Uh, you could catch me on Twitter at Harrison underscore happen or on Instagram at Harrison is happening. Um, you could also add me on PlayStation uh, at Monkey Mud. Uh, I play some Apex, so uh, please, if if anybody if anybody could get me to to like hire Diamond, that would be amazing. I'm I'm stuck in Plat right now, so really appreciate that. Now, d- it, d- please add me. Thank you. Heck yeah! Moving right along, uh, Joan, tell us about yourself, where you are in the internet, and what you're up to. Hey everyone, this is Joan. Follow me on Instagram at St. Joan. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing this week, but I really, really miss Korean barbecue. So I'm thinking about buying a grill and sneaking up my house and like Heck yeah. firing it up. Wait a second, Joan, are you Korean? You didn't know I was Korean this whole time? Wait, I'm Korean too. I think Yeah, I think... it's it's a coincidence, isn't it? <laughs> 
you guys no, that is that is something that is like absolutely killing me is the inability to go have barbecue it is the worst thing about the pandemic i agree this is over karaoke hot pot <laughs> kbbq we're dancing and dancing we'll make the we're whole gonna rounds. throw mm. up but yeah let's do it <laughs> In that order. Uh, yeah. Moving right along. Speaking of karaoke, uh, the karaoke king, Ben, tell us about yourself, where they can find you on the internet, and what you're up to. Hey, gang. Thanks for watching. Ben Cummings here. You can find me at Ben Cummings on Twitter and Instagram. I don't post much, but if you look at my likes, it's always a good list of curated content. Um, uh, you can also find me Tuesday nights. I'm streaming on Twitch, uh, twitch.tv. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Crocodile Nasties. My friend Kevin and I are having a guest on every week, and we're playing whatever video game the guest wants. And in fact, we're having fun doing it. Uh, Masood was a guest. We played Dead by Daylight. Who, who The first time I played it was actually with Lauren, that salty ginger says. Uh, hey. It was a good time. Yeah, we had a good, uh, it was a blast. And it was a fun game with you all as well. Yes, uh, it was the first time Kevin and I had played it. Mm -hmm. Masood was an old hand, but we- uh, At that point, yeah. We got murdered by the murderer in the murder game. Uh, and we had a good time. So um, you can check me out there. And um, other than that, hey, I'm just holding it down. I don't have the vaccine yet. <laughs> I'm still on quarantine mode, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Moving right along. Usher, tell us about yourself, where you are in the internet, and what are you up to? Hi, I'm Usher. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Twitter at Kanye underscore underscore West. Um, what am I up to? Not much. Um, I teach yoga. That's pretty much what I do. That's my big exciting thing. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. That's up me. next, uh, we've got Erica. <laughs> Tell us about yourself, where you are on the internet. What are you up to? Yes, my name is Erica. I'm playing Dolly. Um, I am on Instagram at Bebeka underscore says. Mm. Uh, and you can follow me there and see what's going on. Um, other than that, I'm going on hikes a lot. Don't speak to me if you see me on a hike. <laughs> Good to know. I mean, you'd have a mask on, so it's hard to recognize you to begin with. But, well, we, we got it with the dolly makeup because you wear that everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> and anyways, hey, guys. I've been your GM. I'm a suit. Uh, I am on the internet, on Instagram and yeah. Twitter at MaroodBoy, M-A-H-R-U-D-E-B-O-I. Um, I'm here GMing this wonderful gang of folks on Wednesday nights. I do Rivals of Waterdeep on Sunday. And then on Tuesdays, um, we just kick back up with Indoor Recess for our campaign of Generation F over on the Dungeons and Dragons channel. If you're free, come check that out as well. Um, in terms of, uh, for you all, I mean, we'll be back next Wednesday at the same time. Guys, if you had fun, if you liked what you saw, you know, go check us out on our Twitters. Go follow us. Go keep up to what's going on. And tell your friends. Invite them over next week or just tell them about the VODs. They'll be uploaded on Friday over on the Roll20s uh, YouTube channel. Once again, we want to really thank Roll20 for uh, putting together the show, sponsoring us, as well as Evil Hat Productions for uh, letting us play their fantastic game and uh, having us gush about it. So, um, yeah, if you don't know what to do, go to Twitter, see what's up, follow us, share, tell people about our uh, good time, and come back next Wednesday. Until then, we'll be here. We're Stir Friday Night, and it was great hanging out with you. Goodbye. Adios. Bye. Bye.